That is the it one and only. And Tori is gonna climb the tree. <laughs> what she's doing. <laughs> Here, let's see who's on the tree now. First. Chris. We made it up there. That's amazing. We're outside. Guess what? The Church of Scientology. It's not a church, it's a cult. Why? And the OG Tori, who is here. I know, trying to get up here. Oh, this is good. The chalk. Who did the chalk? Uh, that's self-self. You always interview him. Oh. Wow. No. So the, no, the way you get down is you just grow confidence and stand up on the branch and then, and then paint, like just pop yourself down like a monkey bar. Oh, God. Here he goes. He's coming out. You got to stand up on that branch, though. You got to hold both so you feel secure. I feel like this guy. Yeah, you feel a little. You got to get used to being in trees. This is how Ooh, look, there's, no matter there's what, a seat for me, Jessica. There you go. See, if I sat on that, please sit up. No, you stand up first so your feet are standing up. So you feel comfortable with that, then you're like, oh, then you'll get it. It'll just be able to like, just, just, down. just jump down. You're just just jump down. down. Right? I used to climb trees all the way. It's way higher when you're up there. What's I've up been here? up there. Look, see? Just as I've been up there. I am. <laughs> so I've been up there. <laughs> <laughs> She'll catch you. She's been up in the tree. She'll only catch you. I used to climb up trees all the time. No, you got this. You got this. Just you swing to, down. Hold that branch above you. Yeah, you hold the branch. Up. Hold the branch above you, above your head. Yeah, exactly. Hold that. Or what though? So that you can feel good about being standing up in a tree. Do it. <laughs> Do it because I can see your insecurity is failing you. She don't there you go. So now you can literally figure out. I down can. And then scoot down so you're hanging down. This is on Laura. The branch all the way down. Laura, just kind of like a little swing. Come on, Jessica, Chris, come on. be back in the house. DOA <laughs> and self of self. You can tell and you yourself. And Chris, no, confident you Chris. Tell yourself you already got this and this is smooth and you're going to hold the hang. You hang like a monkey from the little branch. Have DOA lay on the ground. And just <laughs> Look, you have to get rid of your balance at some point and rely, you rely yourself. Look to link on your hands, though. Exactly. There, but go higher up. Go higher up so you don't go so far low. Start holding those. No, you can link hold. like this. Link your hands together. Seriously, and then I got to beat your body, and you'll hang think, from your really strong grip. I put my stomach here. Do you want me to tell you or do you not? Stand out of this. There you go. All right. Okay. All right. Woo! We made it. All right. Now you got to do it again because I missed. Hell no, I did like. Like a freaking gymnast. I know. I, I just saw the they end of it. I have an interview tonight in an hour. So oh. I wanted to keep this shit clean. Oh, oh okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. It took a long time to oh, here. Okay. Tour, tour. 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 Our groups. <laughs> okay, Jess, your turn. Yeah, but he had a hard time getting down. Okay, but you're going to have an easier time. You are not going to allow that. I'm going to do it. You can do it. Again. It's all about being scared. The body can do anything. You just, I'm serious. The body can do anything. You just have to make sure, okay, good grip here, good grip, good. Go. You just like, then the body works. You just have to show, like, okay. Make sure she don't fall. <laughs> Whose phone is this? Whose phone is that? Whose phone is mine? <laughs> you have an extra one? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. You know what I call the sauce after I got a sauce. Okay, we're gonna see. Right. Jess is gonna play. way to go, yes. confident Chris. Yeah. 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 You showed your saw you interview it. today. Oh, did you? Yeah, with Natalie Webster. Did you like it? I loved it. I honestly didn't watch all of it. I watched it all. I was at the gym. Oh, oh I still had it on though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the gym watched four. it. Yeah, and then you're gonna swing your bag up. Down now, but no. no, get up first. Get up first, and I'm then a worried about take a break. Blah blah blah, and then you, yeah, you're gonna swing down. If anything, I can literally take. I can you step. Oh, oh you can step on my shoulder. Oh, I'll make the always. Yeah, we can carry you down. You got no. You just need some time. She's also a little. Your short. mother's going. <laughs> also, would have grabbed the big branch here. Yes, I would grab the little one because it's skinnier, so you actually have more like that plus two. I was using that to kind of oh, to tell yourself about. So you got to use your upper arms. You got to use your upper. So you're going to jump and grab the branch and then. Hey, Chris, I can hold your things and you can lift her up. What was that? You can lift her up. Oh, she got it. Go. All right. 
Let's go, huh? I just climb up it. Yeah, just, just climb up it. <laughs> no. Did it hurt too much? Listen, this, yeah, how this you gives you me? no grip because it's so fat. This gives you more pull. But how do I? I'm not. Well, I, you don't touch the tree like that. Right. So look at this. Even if I was short, like yes, right here. Sure. Look, even if I was right here, which is about where you are, you just jump up to grab. And then, boom. Boom. <laughs> then, boom. Just what? <laughs> what is a monkey, though? <laughs> All right, let's see it. Same way. You could kind of lift her up a little well, bit. Do a, do a try. Do a try and see, like, oh, can I grab that? Like, see how that feels. And if like, it doesn't yeah, work, just... Yeah, see how... You got it? Got it. Not, not an animal. Well, <laughs> we all are. You and me, baby. Ain't nothing but mammals. Those kids are... I can't see what you said. What did you say? Those kids are having a great time climbing trees. Exactly, we're the we're the protesters climbing trees. I'm gonna. Stomach. I gotta watch Jessica. Stomach. I think Chris, I should hold your cameras and you give her a hike. Just give her a hike up. Both. Give her. Help her get up. I know, but you need to help her. No, it's fine. I can work. Now I'm holding two cameras. See, look. Here's my other camera. Bench. This has a little bench. Hi. Okay, we stream. I'm Eric. Oh, hi. I've written about Ford every day since I've been watching your stuff. Oh, cool. What's your name? Eric. No, 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 okay. Nice to meet you. Thanks for saying hi. You could lift her up. She lift her up. Go on. Jess. And focus on the brand. Just get some sand. I'm worried about her. I'm not going to break it. I'm not going to break it. She's so tiny. I don't think yes. do it. Will this help you? Come here. I'm gonna pick you up so you know how oh, no. strong I am. <laughs> oh wow, you're really you're like my you're Yeah. Too. I think he was distracted. Hey, here. He was just distracted. I'm gonna do the booth. I'm Here's gonna DOA do the over here doing an interview. She's 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 selfless she's self. Like, I'm 125 pounds. <laughs> okay, but you're like very, very but all that is muscle. Dad was a cheerleader. She can come on. Come on. Literally, come on. You can literally. You can, if she, if she lifts you up, it. you can do it. I kind of agree with Jess. I, I say, here. I'm no, covered in no. dirt. Not helping. Yeah, thank you. I know, but it's come like, on, I'm covered in dirt. I feel disgusting. Now. I know, you're already unhappy. So it's like, it's not her thing. You feel disgusting getting nice with nature and getting yeah. a little rough. My hands are all dirt. I feel like I'm uh, a animal. Who cares? Let's first do, let's first see if you can just, even I'll pick you up and do it. No, no, no. I, I'm you go climb up it. Go ahead. <laughs> climb up it. Mr. We're all animals. Just eat. I'm going to digest. Oh. <laughs> Good excuse. If I fall, you guys have so many followers. Like, a, a, if you fall, if fall, you'll get like, more followers. Is, like now what? Yeah. Fall yeah. 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 She's good. Yeah. Fall She's lowered. You might as well just covered in dirt. You might as well just yes. you might as well climb up the tree. Give it a shot. Here, I'll hold it. Here, give me. Okay, Tori. Thank you. Really? Yeah. It's Jessica got red. I'm covered in dirt. I don't wanna. Yeah, she's a little embarrassed. It's good. No, I'm not here. Yes, it's not her thing. No, no, no. Because see, the thing is, it would be like. No, the thing is, if I wanted to do it, it would have to be on my own will, or else obviously okay. anybody could lift me. Okay, so yeah. take your time. You're you're at the gym. You have five hours. That's not what I did. I don't climb trees at the okay. gym. Well, okay. <laughs> it was like a metal. Like, there's the bar. There's the achievement. I need to do that. See? You could do it. But like, my achievements okay. normally don't involve me getting cuts on my wrist. But and, you're not going to die. The and my hands you, looking like this. The body will heal. Like the body will yeah, heal. Yeah, you're making your pain in your muscle. The body will heal. Scratch it. The body will heal. Achievement is more amazing than getting scratched. But there's no achievement besides just sitting on the tree and then having to worry about how to get back down. You can't say that when <laughs> you haven't achieved it. Once we, but we feel good. We feel like whole new beings that we made it up and down. Is that true, Chris? You feel like a whole new being? We feel like you're for sure. <laughs> Chris, goes, Chris goes, I don't feel shit, to be honest. No, for <laughs> sure he feels like you're missing out. That's for sure. Is that true, Chris? Um, I feel like it's like a little dangerous for her, too. It. Yeah. I feel like it's a little dangerous for her. <laughs> 
It probably is. Maybe. I think she's right. If she wants to do it, she'll do it. But the thing is, she's always not, tossing her around. I, I don't know, but I'm just saying. Like, she, like, 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 if, like, pressure, if, I was, if I wanted to be a complicated, I would have to do it without any help. Otherwise, of course, anybody can lift me into a tree. Yeah. But that's not, I didn't accomplish anything. So, like, like being what, if, the what if there was, like, <laughs> you know, 10 Sea Org members running to the tree, and there was, you know, $50,000 in a cash bag hanging from the tree right well, now? I trust yeah. me, I get into the tree. So, I know. <laughs> I know. So you better hey, I got, I got an idea. How about the other skinny tree? Why this not? One, we all did it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> She sounds like me when I'm drunk and I try to convince other people to take shots with me. Yeah. Um, she sounds like <laughs> you're like, no, 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 nobody else. You're not even shot. drunk. Peer pressure. You take it. Take it. I'm done pressuring. I'm just saying these are facts, okay? Yeah, I so know. So when that like, happens, I'll watch the stream. I, I am. I'm at Big Blue sure again. I know. She's going to train for it. How about yeah, that? Yeah, every day, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. getting out of the tree. It was my idea in the first place until... <laughs> Until I got covered in dirt heart. and I feel disgusted. It's not dirt, it's bark and you wipe it off. I it's not like, like a, Oh, I so I can wipe it all over you? Well, that's just pine. She's like, oh, never mind. That's pine. I have baby wipes. Do you I have like an alcohol wipe. I have a wipe. But I think your hands do need some kind of grip. Like more like cartilage. Yeah, like or gloves. So, uh, what do you call that? Gloves, right? Not gloves. Why not? It's called toughening up and having big strong hands. Palace. Yeah. I'm out of here. And also, to be honest, I put like 85% out of my energy and fat. Up and up. Walk. I'm struggling to get down. I need to walk home. But you would, you have to tell your brain, hey, I'm going to, I saw for struggling. I'm going to get up. I'm going to go down here and see what's happening here. Now, here's the thing, an educational thing for you guys. This used to be IT, which some of the XC org, if they watch this, they'll remember when this was IT and it was top secret. Nobody knew that it was IT except the IT guys. And look what it is now. Nothing. Completely black. But it used to be the top secret. It was the, the tech guys. They were there. When tech first came around for Scientology, here's the advanced organization of AOLA. There you go. And here's Fountain, which is the street we're on. And here's, who's this coming zooming around here? Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Nice. You're uh, vlogging? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I heard that people are climbing a tree. Well, yeah, they're down here. Do you want to climb a tree? Yeah, I just wanted to watch. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, Chris did and Laura did, and now they're trying to talk Jessica into it. Yeah, I have to figure out what is the most like, oh, Look here, this is what someone has on their car. Then David Miscavige's traffic to children. Wow. Are you still going to do it? I did it. I did it. I just want to say, you know, I did it pretty much. This guy wants to do so, it, so I think. I on the this guy, this new guy, he came around the corner. Yeah, my squirrel abilities. He said he heard we were climbing trees. That's so right. Sure. For sure. So, oh, I'll, do you want me to hold it for you? Do you, you, you need the headphones He's trying to get out of it. Lars trying to force him. Oh, you got it. You got hold oh, everything. Oh. Hold everything for you. Hey, do you need your battery right now or will it die? Keep it on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to see if da Daniel from Salem can climb this tree without... We'll see how the struggle goes, guys. Hi, guys. Mm. We're going to... Okay, I'm still alive. I regret touching the tree, Dan. Perfectly honest. 
You what? Okay. See, I, my OCD does not allow oh, me hands. Have to, you have to be confident <laughs> in your own. Thing. I regret touching the tree. Are oh. you going to fall out of this tree? You better not, because I'm not going to the hospital. I have an interview in an hour. <laughs> and move this way a little bit so I can film it. Someone sure about it? And Chris somehow got his neck. Oh, I like the duck. Yes. Is that yours? I uh, know. Right. Huge. Very nice. Okay, well, look, he's using. All right, you're getting there. Trust me, we all try. We're cheering things. you. We'll see. You. Tell them the secret about the thin thing. Okay, you want me to tell you a secret? The first thing I noticed is like, oh, if I was going to grab, I just grabbed here, so it's thin to get me up. If it's thinner and I just hang like a monkey. And, people and then you just climb up. up. But this is too fast. So you have to get that up here. Is, whatever you do. Oh, yeah. So you have whatever to get up. Don't let go. Yeah, okay, no more, no more, no more. Oh, he's got okay. the idea. Okay, keep he's going, keep idea. climbing. But instead of grabbing the big fat branch, I was saying only grab it with both hands. Oh, okay. And then it's easier to pull yourself up. It's just a small one. Oh, kind of like lock your hands. Yeah, I don't think that lock way. Lock them together. No, no. Like, no, the other way. Yeah, like that. Like it's big. Like, you're like, no, it's that easier a little. Oh, let's see. Let's see if he can do it, guys. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, yeah. See, pull though, up you and put your whatever. and just he walk up. Just walk up the tree like thirty times. So you still have like twenty five more times. Gonna, she's not gonna stop till you get. But you have to get your feet. Yeah. No, wait. Listen to me for one second. Listen. What's his name? You gotta lock your hands together, Daniel. You have to walk up the tree. So just Why grab on and then walk up and the tree. Pop them back. Pop them back as you're walking up the tree. Oh, yeah. sorry. So you're up. Guys, so you okay, good. All right, now walk. Woohoo! Okay, almost. almost you almost, almost had him. The little ducky is looking at him. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You are yeah, taller, see, so it should be easier. You see, that was harder, though. Branch. You should go for the <clears throat> This mark with all your. Energy. You were better with the thin bench. He might jump up. Let's see, let's see. Well, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> you want me to make this the tree a little shorter? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good run. Two feet shorter. Yeah. <laughs> or we could cut a couple <laughs> stairs in there. Yeah, the looks, guys. Right, Not what good. They know? said not good. What's not? Your good? own chat said not good in caps. Oh. Oh. Daniel's chat. <laughs> yeah, if y'all send the galaxy over there. Yeah, I was up there in five <laughs> minutes too. I have a oh. video. Oh, oh go. Okay. So he went Whoa. to the higher up one. That was so good. I, yeah, my, I used to do that when I was little. I have a video of me climbing all the way to the top of this top, top, top. top. There was a big oak they tree. They say you got this, Daniel. All right. Go, go. Climb up. Climb up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. So you got to hold that upper strength. Hold on. Hold on. Swing up that leg eventually so you didn't waste that upper strength. Don't waste your energy. They said use Chris as a chair, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, use Chris. Not allowed to use chair. another human. Laura's like, I'll lift you up. I can lift that. <laughs> it's because you're the smallest one. You're still smaller, though, I feel like. Like, your wrists look like they're half the size. Of Maybe, but my uh, thighs and stuff are like, thought, like yeah. I got my mom's a ballet dancer. She got Is she really? Yeah, she was before she joined in. Or she joined York. the cult. A stupid seal. Daniel is not making it, guys. Oh, like you, you did very place. close. He has more. Loser. 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 Oh. Oh. That is so rude. Jess made me do that. Good job, Daniel. Well, then we have to do it to you, Jess. That's fine. Go for it. Let's hear it. Jessica's stream. See how bad that is. Here comes the guy walking down the street. I jumped up. Oh, my God. No way. Back again. Laura, right, you stop that. <laughs> good walk. Good walk. Keep I walking. I jumped up <laughs> on here as high as I could. Like, I jumped up and, and chained Don't my that. hands together like that. Huh? So I was hanging. Yeah. And then I kind of like. I just said keep walking. And I kind of walk, so that I, yeah, I, I just meant it in a healthy way. Like, like he's walking. He's walking. You know, that's she's a good thing. Speaker. I thought it was huh? more like a. Territory. No, no, I wasn't. No, no. <laughs> I just meant it like keep walking. Like, it's a good thing. Especially for we elderly people, we know walking is a good thing. You have so I'm cheering them on. It didn't sound like it, but I meant it that way. 
If I said it, even if I, well, however I said it. What does it say in front of that car, honk? It's Scientology is a course. Well, that's hard to read. It looks like honk Santa. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, no, nobody can honk. It's, uh, I think that's why there's no honks. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so only competent Chris and Laura has made it up the tree so far. You could do it again twice. There's hope for Tori. <laughs> yeah, right. The oh, last time I did something like that, I was ice skating. And I, I've ice skated all my life. So I thought, okay, I've never twirled around. So I, th I said to the ice skaters, I want to twirl around. And they said, oh, it's easy. <laughs> You know, and they all just twirled around. And I said, <laughs> okay. And I went, whoosh, went up, down on my wrist. And oh. I said, oh, my God, I think I broke my wrist. And they said, oh, no. Then everyone, when you're in an accident, is a doctor. And they come over and they go, oh, oh yeah. no. Oh, oh fine. no. It's fine. It's, you know, fine. it's still it's there. And you're, you're like, fine. Oh, oh, that's happened to me all the time. Yeah. You know, you're fine. So I'm skating around thinking this is not it's good. Bigger and bigger. I go, no, it wasn't really quick. But I went home and by midnight, I said to my husband, we have to go to emergency. I, this is it's awful. Yeah. I mean, I'm like in dire straits. So for me, that kind of thing, I'm like, I always think of that when people go, oh, Tori can climb up the tree. I used to scramble up trees. I have a video. I am too. Scrambling I kind up. of put in my whole ranch, like whenever I would, like they call it blowing, as you know, whenever I would blow, which means running away without permission and purposely doing it. Like I was interbulated. So fuck you, I'm blowing. So I would leave. Anywho, uh, I would literally run up trees all the time and hide in the trees while they were running and looking for me on the ground. And I was hiding in the tree, literally at the top of a fucking skinny ass pine tree, hiding in the in the bushes. Like watching all the security guards run and look for me. Right. And I was like, hee hee hee. And I'd like look up and see the crow's nest above me. Like, wah, wah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> hi. Can you oh, crows? An eight year old. An eight-year-old Lara and the crow. I know. I loved it. I used to go up there just to spend time, you know, just to get away from noise. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was really quiet. Can I, can you switch it so it's back to where it's out? Like that? You just do the arrows, the circle yeah, arrows. I did it three times. And it I was probably, your hand was probably cut. Oh. So it didn't look like it. It's okay. Look, we're back no, on. it wasn't cut. Well, you're on my chat. What else is new? Um... I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm new with you. Trying uh, the, the, the same old tree climbing. Nothing new. I'm like, oh wow, I'm still like young and athletic, like I was like a child. Yeah. I just didn't ever exercise it in the outside world, so I feel like that made my childhood youngness. Clothing. Yeah, I feel like I should have been a gymnast or like some. You should have, for sure. <laughs> you think should have? Meant super. <laughs> no, she should have. Yeah, I thought you were a gymnast on me. Yeah, that's so cool because I do. I think I have like a gym body, and I yeah. I actually was thinking I think I should start like maybe try working out, even though I always like I just always just thought that was the stupidest thing because I'm like I'm so fucking busy. I'm working physically, working all the time. So yeah. I'm like I'm like that's how I kind of stay in shape, I guess, because there's no other way. You do physical. I'm a personal assistant, so I'm constantly doing things all day long. Like, on this errand, pick this up. Oh, Laura can handle that. Megs can handle that. They've had work for them for so long that they still call me Megan from my Scientology day. Isn't that crazy? So they're like, oh, Megs can handle that. And then I look, and it's like 15 pallets of uh, water or, like, Arrowhead water. I'm like, okay, yeah, I got it. I'm like, she's like, I got this. <laughs> but it's true. Like, that's the truth. But there's certain things that even my regular working, like I would love to get like my legs like thick and strong and fat. I think I'm going to start doing that. Wouldn't that be crazy if I just like became this like soft chick? I'm already strong. I look skinny, but I'm actually really, really strong. That's the truth. I believe yeah. that. It's really true. Like, look, give me your hand. Like I literally, my. She looks at me and goes, like, never my, mind. <laughs> but like I have really. Um, that's it takes a lot of strength to pull I yourself up there. Nice. 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 Nice.
Watching your channel is really good. Final question. Yeah. Thank you. Final, final words. Sure. He is good with chop. Why would you guys eat random random people? You guys are taking down a multi-million dollar corporation. You guys are good talkers. Not the glory, are you? Oh, what do you mean? Somebody poisoning the food? Or? Yeah, that's what it's like. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm not sure how much food I'm not, not exactly sure what's going on. I mean, mostly keep it here. I, I generally know. I took some food off the table that you served. Um, I, people bring stuff by. Um, uh, uh, this guy, uh, Sergio, who's uh, you. You know, working with the homeless population around here, uh, giving out the children home number and Letting people know uh, about the services in Allen County that they could avail themselves of donkeys and water. Uh, that's a joke. I lifted up the cap to Eric here. I'm like, no needle marks, you know, taking the kind of down thing. That's at least what I could see. But uh, uh, most, you know, generally people are trying, you know, I've been around the world. And, uh, most people want to do, do the right thing, take care of the people around them. Uh, Generally, I found uh, that's how the world is. I mean, certainly verified, trust but verified. Uh, but yeah, not taking food bubbles or poison food so much. Uh, yeah, we're definitely targets of all sorts, but that's kind of more, uh, that's the Russian intelligence services. We're going to put some polonium in your tea and you're going to die a horrible death. And they've done it a few times. Um, absolutely. So they haven't gone to that level yet, but. Uh, I guess I just gave him an idea. All right. You give him an idea. All right. So Whoops. final, final, final words to chat. All right. So um yeah, so this is my uh this is my big idea uh here to this movement that we're getting here. There is a coordinated uh protest in Washington DC. Get the attention of the national news media, get the attention of like, the voters, and thereby having leverage against uh, or over uh, federal representatives and the federal government as a whole, being justice, the FBI. Uh, and to do so, well, when I saw the night where um, the scroll was marched around um, celebrity center, I said to myself, this reminds me of the AIDS book. This reminds me, uh, if any of you remember the AIDS crisis in each region, there were quilts. This, this is what it used to be Cedars of Lebanon. Family members, no. There you go. That's what it was. And look here. Scientology is a cult. That's what it says. You can't read it. There's these guys' buildings. Isn't that amazing? Let me go take a picture of what it looks like now. Sad, but true. The cross. What a joke. They're totally against Jesus, God, faith churches, angels, and they've got a cross up there. Pathetic. It reminds me about your skydive. Huh? Jessica Chat is asking. Yeah, too. They're asking if you're excited. Am I excited? Yeah, it's got ours too. Pardon me? Oh, yeah, that's the the skydive. Skydive. We're all going skydiving. You said you were going to do it. DOA's chat last night. In the chat. There's no way you Me, you, and DOA. He's going to watch my dog. Me, you. Oh, That's so I funny. That was your exact reaction, though, that you did. Yeah, she was going to be like, yeah, I okay. Said, I said. So to, tomorrow, though, we're doing it. We're And you're going to have the instructor, because they'll make sure you don't land on your hips or whatever. But we, I was like, I'm not doing it unless Tori's doing it. Do you not remember this conversation? That's the wrong thing to ask me. Oh, sorry. Okay, but so you're ready. We're doing obviously I don't and tomorrow. I'm not. 
<laughs> you already committed. I just told you about breaking my wrist ice skating. I know, but no. the, the Eric, the skydiver, Eric said he will be with Tori, and he's done this multiple times with elderly people. Yeah. He's already... He's been, and they said there's been no issue, literally. They just... <laughs> yeah, so far. Yeah, no. She's already jumped out. He's done it six times in the past. He has, but they said, so you're going to be with Eric and me and her have to be alone by no, ourselves. You one of you can be with Eric. No, you're yes. going. No. Your thing's already booked. We already, the chat no, already Kate's bought it. already booked. You didn't. The chat already bought no. it. Yes, we did. In the chat last night, review your footage. No, you can't review think about your chat footage. and think I get it. There's Dino a million things literally watching Foxy chat. while we go. No, I'll yeah, watch Foxy. Yeah, got it for us. Streets was like, I want Tori just... No way! No, he's watching the dogs. The boys aren't coming. It's a girl trip. Okay. It's a girl trip. Oh, Literally. you didn't invite me. No. We like watched your stream. about it. We watched said, your stream last night. And... You were like, I'm down. And everybody was like, Tori, we're sending you money to go. And Jessica got the tickets. It's at 2.22 tomorrow. Okay. So good luck. Good luck, honey. It's all right. I, I you know, know that. I remember him saying. Eric was on the phone. Sorry. Can I sign your remember? Stop <laughs> being nasty to me. Stop it. They're being nasty to me. That's not nice. <laughs> no, I. you didn't let me finish the <laughs> sentence because you're so busy cutting me off. Well, I aren't we all, Tori? We all need to bug you a little bit. Come in with my check. No, you. I don't she want to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us more. Okay, so <clears throat> someone came on and was talking about a girl's night, a girl's thing yeah. that you guys were having. Yeah. But I wasn't involved. You Nobody were, said it. I you were said, already, you were the subject of it. It was like, oh, Tori would do it. You were like, yeah, I would go skydiving. So then me and Jess, one of Jess was in the chat and said, I'm booking it right now. And so yeah, they no, said they have a good teasing. I didn't no, know. We no. Did it. It's 2.22 tomorrow. Stop. We're just getting there. Pat. Well, then you're never going to be good at... All right, let Tori talk. Or let Laura talk. I'm done with this joke. See, it is a joke, you rats. I knew it. Jess you fucked said, it up. We were just April getting there. April Fool's. It's April Fool's. Look, she likes it's it. April Fool's. It's okay. I got my brother for the... You a snitch? I was like, yes. I didn't call you a snitch. She said she snitched. I didn't she say. Snitched. I did not you just say said that. She's a snitch. April Fool's. I said just, April Fool's. Let's fool. rewind the chat. You I said she's it. a snitch. April Fool's. I didn't say snitch. I didn't. I didn't. believe you, Tori. I'm like, Rock yeah. didn't. So we're trying Can to you rewind snitch. the chat? I didn't. Yeah. Rewind the chat and see if I said the word snitch. I didn't. Is that it's a joke? not in my vocabulary. Where, where, is she? where is she? Are you serious? He might clarify that first. Nope. Yeah, yeah, fuck okay. Scientology. Lose their status. Yes. <laughs> I like Aja. Is she getting flattered or not? And you guys check if it's actually the Torino. What, what happened? Yeah. At La Poubelle, something happened? Do you, like, not ban anybody in your chat? No, I blocked them. Okay, good. I fucking blocked them. Really? I love you. And, like, get out of my life. I have to ask a secret question. Okay, so this is she's fine. No. no. Yeah, no. The because moment my a parking friend, person even came up, you would already be like, oh, I'm going. No, no. No, no, no. This is what my friend told. 7 Eleven, and they were saying someone's trying to hold you with a 7 Eleven. Oh, because my mom actually said it's extremely expensive. No. You're totally fine. And guess what? That's so cute that you put that in a secret. Even if you bought a ticket. No, I don't even know how to do the mute. Two seconds. They probably heard the whole they thing. Would, yeah, they did. <laughs> That's why I laughed last time when you did this. You were like, I need excuse on my pages just from <laughs> I'm so screwed up. Even if you got towed or something happened, my chat nice. and everybody would pay for your thing immediately. You'd be like, fuck you, design knowledge. Well, I need to get one of these things. So I'll, I'll get like you one. That. I'll get you one. You want one? I okay, do. Well, for like 30 bucks on Amazon. I'll get I have one I'm of gonna those. I'm going to bring it to you. But I can't find this. I got one of those and then I lost it. And I still feel guilty saying it. Because I, I think I'm going to find it. But I think. What is it? My gimbal. I have all the parts to it. Is that like a I have gimbal? Clip, I have the tripod, but not the thing. Yeah. I lost so my portable. I, I think I just need to buy a new one. Aren't they like $150? Yeah. It's Chris? The bus trying to get that it. one? 
Is this Chris? Yeah, uh, this is Daniel. Daniel from Sega. That's his that's his channel. Daniel from Sega. I thought, wow, he really changed. <laughs> I thought Chris, you were oh, confident, confident Chris. Chris. No, that will be confident. He's confident. Confident. He's climbing trees, so he could be better than me. But he where'd he go? Where'd he go? Huh? Yeah, he's probably, he's probably looking for a snack. Probably looking for a snack. He brought him snack. Listen, he goes through them by the minute. Well, he can't he keep can. up. It's true. Yeah. yeah. But he has a little duck. That's Chris's. Book. I know. I have a little ducky. A lot of people send me duckies. I like. I, I love that Jessica put those all over his car. I just wish she'd stuck them on there. Then I know. Were... We should have used crazy glue. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Or I, even I, like um some you know like rubber glue or whatever like just like the regular because they will still hold it and then you can still pull it off. Yeah. I still think we should. But do that's it. what I mean. The regular glue would have been funny because he would have been like, we should have a duck party. Kind like a duck party. Yeah. So then he might have had a fit. Yeah, so much. That's why I think I lost my portal. Look at what. Okay, talk about cool fun. Get out of there. Somebody <laughs> literally sent me from Canada. Like, I don't know if you guys did you hear my story about breaking my wrist ice skating? So I'm like, no. I do like being in the air though. I do. Never microwave peace. Yeah, that's true. Hi. Good to see you guys. Thank you for coming on here and being with us. Tori, you can mess with them. And act serious about saying something. I know. I was like, great, she's like, great. don't worry, it's very, it's very cool. <laughs> and the blue. So, right. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Thank what? You. what? Thank you, you my oh, sweet you. friend. You that now? a Canadian friend sent me in the mail twenty-one American dollars that she's had like lying around her house, and they only have Canadian money. And she was like, well, I just thought, you know, and she was like, you. She was like, you openly put the, your mailing address. So I thought, you know, three months ago, I thought, oh, I'm saving that. Yeah. And then she was like, now I have a reason. It was so cute. And then she sent me a little order. And is it your actual address? Uh, or... My mailbox. Oh, you have yeah, your mailbox. So I'm like, good. Yeah, and... You don't have your actual address. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're not doing all that. I am. We ain't, we're not that prepared <laughs> for all those shockers. Is it A.A. Ross? You should have seen just when she saw I put my phone number. Yeah, get it away. What? It's just Jessica. She's, no, it's sick. yeah. Blow it her way. <laughs> She's gonna be stoned in a minute. No, Keep blowing it. No, we don't play that. <laughs> also, like we, if you didn't say weed or blunt, which I don't even really say that much in my chat, I just do it. Uh, they can't prove that it's what it is. So it's not. It's legal. It doesn't matter. What they, they can't prove that it's Listen, figuring or nothing. Know, it's legal. legal. Yeah, I know. It's about internet, though. It's international. YouTube is international. TikTok is international. Yeah. I know, but you're sitting here in America. But, but marijuana is not allowed to be shown in China on TikTok. Oh, you can't show it? On TikTok. They're, they control but she's not on TikTok. She's, they control China. They control it. I know. They own TikTok. I know. So even though we have our freedoms in America, they don't give a fuck. They just want to control their people. So TikTok will ban certain things. And they just, I feel like they don't want to have lawsuits and stuff. So they don't, I don't know. I'm assuming, I'm assuming they just try to just make it really hard to just live your own life on TikTok. I think it's just a lot of kids use it too. So yeah, a lot it. of kids do. Because it's a younger thing. It's a new generational thing. DOA got me that Uber and the guy was from Iran. And I explained to him, we're going to pull up and there's going to be this protest, right? And I think he thought, okay, sure. And then we came around the corner and there was the truck and the tables and everything for Easter. And he said, oh, my God, this is America. And I, he said, this would never, ever happen in my country. And I said, really? And he said, if it did, you'd either be immediately arrested yeah. or killed. killed. Yeah. And he said, and that's in many countries so have, around the that's world. That's why they control a lot of the who can see what right. on TikTok. Right. Break it off because I know people are going to stop. Oh, okay. You are breaking down good. Everybody stop. I mean, I smoke, I smoke sativa and indica. Okay. I just know that if I'm smoking, I go with the plant. So, like, if I'm smoking indica and I'm protesting, then I'm like, oh, okay. Well, if I'm feeling a little tired or relaxed, I'll just know it's the indica. I smell the energy. Yeah. Yeah. Because one is energizing and one is tired. Right. One's more relaxing, indica and sleepy. And sativa's more energetic yeah. and like uppity duffy. Yeah, so yeah. you said that, remember? And I yeah. didn't know what it was. Yeah. I didn't mean, just tell me it was weed. 
I didn't know that you didn't know. I didn't know you didn't know the difference between sativa and indica. I've never heard those names. So I was like telling you, I was like, so then I smoked some sativa and I was like, burp, 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 burp. so then you know why. I'm like, hi guys, how are you? Burp, 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 burp. People are like, are you on coke? I'm like, I don't do that. I only you smoke sativa. Yeah, I got And you. I don't drink coffee. So people like all these assumptions of like, she's a crackhead. She doesn't. I'm like, no, I'm literally afraid of anything going up my nose. I'm afraid of pills. Yeah. Still from Scientology. Yeah. I don't, I'm not addicted to any of that. I literally like alcohol here and there. Sometimes a lot of alcohol when I'm partying. And then I like smoking weed. There you go. Criticize me harder, people. There's a lot of more other people to criticize shit about. Don't don't point to me. No, I said again the word. No, You're like, hey, don't. There's I a don't lot mean of people. That was right. foul. Oh. Hey, I never I was met you. I was to support you. Up oh, my alarm clock. So hey, Tori. Nice right. to meet you. Absolutely, we met uh, on Easter. Did we? Very yes. briefly. Well, I'm really bad on it, so don't take it no, personally. No, not at all. I wouldn't. I wouldn't I, until possibly. we hang together, and then I'll get to know you. Absolutely. I saw you. Um, I think, was it last night? You were out in front of the testing center. Uh, two nights ago, two when they arrested days. those kids. That's right. And we were on my, we were doing a live chat. Oh, my God. Chad it's said, the we came over to help You her. were arrested. It was like really So freaky. in the chat, yeah, really we stopped the chat. And I was like, what? They were like, yeah, it's something like uh, this, they swatted uh, selfless self at the freaking testing center. Yeah. So we went although, to look. Although the, they got arrested. Exactly. So. No, we were. I was like, "What?" I was like, "No, the people that because I had gone on your chat earlier, and I was like, oh, selfless self is at the testing center.'" I was telling Talking them in the chat, them. and then thirty minutes later, somebody in in our chat in Tori's chat was like, "Selfless self is something swatted, right?" And I was like, yeah. "No, that's not." I was like, "Are you sure?" So I went back, and I'm like, "They arrested the two kids or the, the younger dudes that were." Yeah talking to you while exactly. you were just they going were tourists, right? and i yeah, love the first thing when we from new zealand yeah, yeah nice they were tourists and then uh it's right when we went on the first thing they said very, very for them. and they were and they that's what i was gonna say the first thing we heard when we went on your chat was you saying don't say anything you're doing great you don't say that tell them anything yeah, yeah. keep your mouth and i was like yes yeah, you were really imagine great. how they felt like, okay, we've been talking to this comfortable guy for the last right. whatever, yes. and he's giving us some good knowledge. And like, oh, I'm just gonna keep listening. And like, no way. I bet you they were like, This is really fucking happening. Yeah. Like, cause they're getting they were handcuffed. It was really crazy. And so we were all watching. And it was on really watching tight. And yeah, and you were like, Can you put a finger in there? I don't like I love that the cops know that you were saying that. Yes. Oh, like, just, oh, you think there's somebody who doesn't know basic little rules around here? Because they will try to just do anything, whatever, to, to slap their authority. Absolutely. Fuck, yeah. I loved it. I just, or you nailed it. You did. You nailed it. And we were all like, and we were all, we were all cheering you on. And we were like, all right, up the cell. It was, it was, uh, it was really exciting in, in the bad way, obviously. Yeah. You know, adrenaline up and yeah. right, fight or flight. Yeah. Ready for anything. And was, what, did they say anything afterwards or not? Uh, the police? No, no, the kids. Oh, the kids took it on the heel and toe and got up. <laughs> they didn't want any more of whatever was right. happening on right. that corner. I right. guarantee yeah, yeah. you, though, they, they are going to talk about it forever. Uh -huh, and yeah. they're going to become huge fans of ours. Well, one of them not came back into the chat after oh, they left the site to let us know that uh, the reason for the call that they were given by the police was that uh, there was a call yeah, that yeah, somebody had uh, their so skateboard busy. stolen. Oh. And so uh, they yeah, were t-shirt and jeans. Oh. You know? So where's the skateboard? Right. As right. soon as you walked up, you knew that they didn't have a skateboard. Right. right? right. And, sure and so they, like they patted them down shirt? and kept them in cuffs for about, yeah, I, I think, like, about 10 minutes. Or something. Yeah, that looked, that looked like about that long. Yeah. Right. And... Yeah, there was nothing there. Like like Sorry, I was thinking, like what is it? One of these like, like small the finger decks you can just <laughs> skate around on a table with? Yeah, right. I mean, is that what they're hiding? Uh, no. And they never apologize, yeah. right? No, absolutely not. No. No, they always do that. You know, I think, why not just send a policeman? And see if they're, right. you know, do the investigation. Okay, what's happening? Well, that's generally what does happen. It doesn't anymore. Not okay. not around here. Not around here at all. Mm -hmm. No, but, you know, that's, that's generally what policing is. You do an investigation. You right. don't detain somebody while you're... you're Figuring it out. Exactly. Like, you actually, to, to be able to 
Laura, you're that right. actual practice needs to be refuted in the court. Right. <laughs> right. Let's see court cases need to be brought. Up. People need right, to bring, um, uh, well, basically damages in yes. civil court against the, the officers. I think so. And, and make a record. Um, and a before. financial thing of how much money is being wasted every time. Absolutely. Did yeah. you figure that's a lot of money that like we I was here when they had three fire trucks and ambulance. That's a lot of money. And the cops were they six figures for, for all the And you know what happened with the OI? I don't know if you know this, and I'm not sure if this was it, but remember they handcuffed him down yeah. there. Of course. And that day he very kindly put me in my car, which was across the street. Right. Said, get in the car, Tori, they're yeah. gonna handcuff you. Right. So I'm in the car. And the next thing I see, they're handcuffing him, yes. right? And I think, hey, I got to do something. I forgot I had on those red horns. Oh, right. <laughs> and I pulled up to the cop. And I have a really old car with wind-down windows, so I can't electrically do them. So I just went to him and went like this, like, you, open the door. <laughs> Forgetting I have on the red horns. And he goes like this. No! <laughs> and they jumped in their car and right at the same time he had said, you know, F you. Oh, good, Chris, Jess just went looking for you. So, exactly. you know, you're, you pissed. And they drove off. She but talks. usually cops aren't going to drive off when you swear at them. Oh, no. 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 So, but um, I think like your bag of I, this is my theory. Nice. And they're very strong. Yeah, they're very nice. Okay. I feel like I need to give you another bag. Oh. For your adventures. Oh, you do? Yes. You need to? I need to. Okay, like, I right. need to. If I go, I'm going to feel so weird. Okay. Don't, there you don't, go. don't be weird. Don't. It's the exact same thing. Just oh a, another little happy badge. But this is my theory. I yes. think they thought I was his mother. Oh, right? Because he was in the red cape. No. I had on the red horns, and he went, let's get out of here. Oh, and no. they jumped in the car, and it's they were the gone. Right. They un they unhooked all this deal and crazy. <laughs> they un they unhandcuffed Ten them. times as worse. <laughs> Way. <laughs> Woo, look at that. I thought you would like it. That's wow. Awesome. Well, Way to yeah, back in the day. Woo. She's got the anonymous mask. She's got yeah. anonymous pictures framed in her. Oh, room. yeah. It's for her. They gave them to me. Oh right! Yeah. I love her. Every time she talks about it, she talks to silence. I, I, when the when the anonymous came, it was a game changer. Yeah, they it was a game changer for me because remember, I'd been speaking out with four people for yeah. eight years. Yeah. Oh right, At fighting the, this church. Yeah, yeah. So those, when anonymous stuff. came around with five hundred people, absolutely, I went holy yeah, fuck! Yeah, you know, they all had picket signs and masks and everything. Yeah, it was smaller than five hundred in Boston, but anonymous. Uh, no, but it was nine thousand around the world. Absolutely. You know, Every major city. I saw Boston. Boston was yeah. Really well, where are they at? At the Marlboro yeah. Street org that is no longer there. Other end of L. Ron Hubbard Way. Yeah, they they, they had this all blocked off, so we were on the other way, uh, yeah. the other end across and across sun, uh, Sunset. Well, like some of those kids, you know, anarchist computer hackers from MIT. Oh, I know. A very bad idea to mess with those kids. Listen to what happened. Yeah. Yeah. They made that video. You know, somebody, somebody leaked the Tom Cruise video. You're either in, in or out. Or the, uh, the, the IAS uh, convention video? Yeah, yeah, in 2000. Now, that was, that's not the one that I'm talking about, though. Oh. So, in 2008, somebody leaked the, the Tom Cruise video. You're either in or out, that yeah. one. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that is that the uh, the sweater one? I, I think so. He looks really crazy. Yeah, he looks really crazy. Right, right. And so... Scientology being the brilliant people that they are, which you know, yes. they called up YouTube and said, get it off or we're coming after you. Oh, right. yeah, so yeah, yeah. Anonymous found out and said, all right, they made a video saying, this is Anonymous yep. and we're going to take down your YouTube site. Now, right at that same time, another gentleman had written a book about Tom Cruise. Right. It was like the other side of Tom Cruise. Right. And so... Yeah, I should watch that. It should be fun. So... Um, I think it's not, I think they're doing, like, they feel edited. Oh, okay. I thought it was Osa just trying to distract off that book. Because right. they do oh, that kind of thing. Right, of course they do. So I thought, oh, this is bullshit. Yeah. These aren't guys taking down your website. So I made that post. And I'm in my bedroom, and Anonymous calls me. This is Anonymous. The same yeah. guys as the video, the same yeah, night. Yeah, exactly. This is Anonymous. Yeah. And I'm like, it's, it's totally bad. freaked out. And then when they told me their plans, I said, look. I, they put me on Skype, so we're all together. And I said, look, you guys are way out of your league. Yeah. You will end up in prison with what you're planning. They had some very hard core plans. I'm telling you. Yeah, absolutely. And I said, these guys play for blood. 
And yep. with what you're planning, not going to work. So they said, well, what can we do? And I said, let's do a peaceful picket. If we protest peacefully, they can't arrest us. Correct. So they said, we'll meet you at the Big Blue. We walked all around here. It's That video is on the net somewhere. And they decided, all right. And they said, okay, we'll have 500 people here February 10th. Wow. Now, we'd been picketing with 10 people, right? Right, right, right. right. So we go to get on the subway. Yeah. And there's 10 guys with the... The, the mask on and mask. all black, yeah. and the and they're all sitting very peacefully. Yes. And the rest of the su subway is like this. Uh, they're like totally freaked out. Like, yeah, yeah, who yeah. are these guys? What are exactly. they doing? And I yeah, get yeah. on with my my stop sign. You know, stop hurting families. Scientology, stop hurting families. Excellent. And I say, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, this is these people. We're with these people, so right. it's fine. Beautiful. Yes. And we're coming to protest the Church of Scientology, and the whole subway starts clapping. Yeah. So we think this is anonymous, the 10 guys. So yeah, now we right. get off at the subway thing on, on Vermont. Right. And we walk up to the subway, up, up to L. Ron Hubbard Way, and there's 500 people there. <laughs> and imagine it was like, that for me, it was like, like a oh. movie. It was now, incredible. If there's a movie about the protest yeah. movement, that would be a really good I know. Scene. I know. Really, really good scene. scene. I know. The whole thing. I can only imagine. I mean, I've been to big protests, but thinking that you... Going from 10 picketers I know. to getting 10, Five thinking that this is great. Yeah. But then, wham. 500. And all with signs and masks and everything. Just imagine what this will look like today with like almost no Scientologists on the street. If right. It was this community coming out with that many people. Right. I mean, it would, Not it would, to interrupt, I have to go do an interview. You're going to do your interview? interview. Are you going to be here? Are you leaving? Are you going to be here for a minute? Or I'm going an to interview. be around here for a minute. Yeah. So yeah. I. Yeah, I'm going like to be on. Few hours. I'm going to be on the street for a few hours. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm gonna if I'm gonna see after my interview. Who are you interviewing Stevie with? Weeby. Stevie Weeby. I don't know him. I'll tell you about it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, William Good was on there. You see his episode. Yeah, yeah. Pretty. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Steve Wade. Yeah, his name is chilling. And he's Weedy? actually more yeah. Williams like doesn't do music and stuff. Right. His show is, I think, he's more music popular. based. Sure, sure. So I feel like it's like perfect, like yeah. story, you know, protesting. Oh, you know, good, and you can sing? And a little bit of singing. I hope. Oh, yes, yeah. No idea. Yes, Absolutely. Yeah. Everyone yeah. wants your singing. Yeah. Break a leg. So definitely sing. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm just going to grab I that. owe you one. one just remember that. We're going skydiving tomorrow, Tori. You promise. You Don't you remember? Me. Yeah, right. No, I'm not. She, but she said that, and she kept saying, "I, you promised. And I was like, record the uh, anonymous? Or I'm sure a lot of people did, right? Yeah. 500? This one guy made a video of the whole worldwide picket. Because it was in ma ma many, many major cities right. all around the like world. It still is now. Right? Yeah. But, I mean, it was really cool to see it all on one day. You know, everybody out. Yeah. It was really cool. cool. We need that. Yes. I know. We got to get it. Somebody's got it. I forget who. There was one guy that always had it. I, I don't know. Some Somebody's got it. And you can probably type it in, poke around, and find yeah, it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So this is hard. Yeah, we got to get more people here. Well, see, my thing, that's what I said to Anonymous. It's like if you say the date and you say the time and where, people will come. But what this is, these guys are always kind of stealth, like they just show up. And I asked them once, I said, How do you guys ever know where you are? And they said, We watch each other's live streams. Yeah. <laughs> but I do think if we do another protest, it, 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 it helps. You know, like the Easter one. Look at, there were a lot of people at the Easter one. Yeah. That's because we said when it was, where it was, you know, that kind of thing. So I think we can we can do both, you know, the stealth ones and then protests like maybe once a month. I think so too. Yeah, because they're fun. They're really fun. All right. What are all these things? I don't know how to get rid of these. Do you know how? Um, I think you just close it in an X button somewhere. What do I do? Oh, that. Just hit the check mark. Oops. Ooh. Oh, there you go. What do you have? have one of them going. I, I, what do you mean? You have to hit remove on them. I have. What do I have to do? Uh, you don't want to go back to them. How do I get back to them? They're there. Just hit that thing. No. No, I think they're back on. Well, it's in black and white though. 
Oh, what do, how do I get it back to the color? I think it's one of these things. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's that one. I'm driving her off. She's got a big... Yeah. But there's all the things. Then hit um normal. Here we go. Yeah. And I'll just hit that again. How did oh, it... Get it You're leaving? I'm going to La Pavel. Oh. It's, it's Tuesday night. I have to be there. Okay. Right. Because someone's got to be there. Okay. It's my baby. Oh. All right. I feel an obligation to be there. Okay. So, and I got to drop her off with her big interview. Okay. So I'll be over there. Is anyone else uh, going there? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. All right. Much love. I'm outside there. Huh? I'm outside there. You go. Yeah. Too much like drunk people, right? It's it's a combination of number one, I want to expose Scientology. Yeah. I don't want to be talking about a restaurant, even though I get it with Danny and everything else. But it's it's also a very dangerous environment for someone my age. You know, it's a very thin sidewalk, drunk people coming out. You know, it's just not it's not healthy. Yeah. I mean, and like Phil Jones said, if they would just come across the street and go around Celebrity Center once a day and say, Michael Jones, call your mother, because yeah. they've been in the Sea Org forever. Okay. You know, that would really help. You know, so that's the kind of thing that I'd rather do than, than I don't know. I, I understand she's awful, but I think it's just, it's a huge, you know, it's just a different thing that I want to do. You yeah. know, everybody's got their stuff. That's yeah. the thing with protesting. You learn everybody's got their thing. Yeah. And it's not my thing. Yeah, it just gets like dangerous over there and stuff. For me, yeah, it yeah. isn't for it wouldn't be for you, but it would be it is for me. You know, because yeah. you know, and I they've hurt me, you know, like they've I protested out in front of the testing center once and they came they had a guy just come flying around just slam me in the chest. Oh, and then he ran inside. Yeah. And one time I was in Ireland and I this guy was standing outside and he had his arms crossed and I said, What's up, man? Because I said to the guys, we were doing a convention and they flew me over there. And I said, so what's up, man? And they said, um, they said, the guy, I want to show this because I want him to see it. You know, he had his arms crossed and he goes, nothing. And I go, nothing? Because I used to work in Div 6, which is where you're trying to get people in. Right? Yeah. And it's like, nothing is not the right answer. And so I said, nothing? And he goes, well... It's not for everyone. And I said, it's not? You know, it's just sort of like, when did, where did that come from? Yeah. You know, Scientology is for everyone. That's what they said. So then he runs inside and Anonymous was there and they go, she shut him down in under a minute. You know, because they used to always like L. Ron Hubbard Way, there'd be people on the street. And as soon as I'd step on L. Ron Hubbard Way, they'd all vanish. Yeah. You leaving? Sounds good. Yeah. yeah, I've been out for a while, but... I like live pretty close to La Pubelle, so I might. Uh, oh, go with. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was a nice day. I mean, yeah. I was yeah, it was really, really, really nice day out here. Were you here all day? I was here from like three o'clock. Wow, um, good. And yeah, I've been coming to these like, like, so like I, I, I've been watching your channel. Like, it's really good. Like, that's I, cool. So I reported on the loans they got during COVID, the, the paycheck protection. Good. And uh, and so I've like, i like been reporting on them for, for quite a while. Good. And the protest started, and William and I are friends. Um, oh, good. So the, for, I remember the day that happened. And if I'm boring, you guys. Or no. Uh, no. The the, uh, <laughs> the day that they told him like the, when this all started, because when they told him to move. And I was like, you guys just, in my head. Yeah, you like, screwed the wrong person. Exactly. Totally. I was like, you guys just made the, you don't even know what you just did. Yeah, you could have just said nothing and he would have been on his way with the police. I've, we've been friends since maybe like around 2020. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, it's been crazy to see what's happening. But, yeah. He's really great though. I love all the stuff he does. Man. Yeah. He's Streets LA for anybody that doesn't know. It's streets LA, yeah. William Goo. He's a cool right, guy. Well, well, thank you for reporting on that because yeah, we yeah. really need it. It's important. I want to get rid of their tax exemption. That's, <laughs> I mean, that'll be the end of it. Yeah. Why are you laughing? No, I'm, I'm, I mean, you're right. Like, that's, it almost was the end of it, right? I mean, in the 90s when that, when they just got it, right? Yeah. yeah. It was about to be over, right? I mean, 
you, you know, like everything. You know more than I do. I don't know if I know everything, but I was at the event where they announced the war is over, and you know, yeah, I was there, and I and I came out and said bullshit. And I was in as a member. It's pretty wild. They went against the IRS, though. Isn't it? Uh, yeah, that yeah, I would love to talk more. Uh, they used yeah. to send. They sent me. I only went one day, but they sent me down to the IRS downtown to pass out these flyers. We will give you ten thousand dollars if you will say any, tell us anything about the IRS. Wow. And all the men were like ready to stab me in the back. I mean, it was awful. They all gave me really dirty looks. But a couple of these ladies said, you know, I think we might have something to tell you if they took the flyers. Wow. And I went back and I said, you know what? I am not doing that again. It was just too freaky. And But I'm sure they sent other people over and over until they got enough dirt on these guys. And that's that's how it went down. Time Magazine reported or one of the, or I forget who it was, LA Times. Or whoever did the tax investigation, I think it might have been Tom. Yeah, I was just reading the, I found an article by LA Times reporter who, he, he wrote the, one of the big investigations, and then he later he wrote a personal, I think his name is Joel, so he wrote a personal story about what happened to him. Wow. It was, I mean, obviously, he doesn't know all this, but it was scary. Like his dog was, someone, yeah, someone poisoned his dog. Right, yeah. That's always the thing, they go after animals, it's so creepy. Yeah. So sad. I mean, it was a miracle that Elvis, my cat, they never heard, they never heard Elvis, but they did send around a bulldog and I knew it wasn't anybody in our neighborhood or anywhere nearby. I'd never seen the dog and he was really mean. And I had a different dog. His name was Shadow. He was an all black, sleek cat. And this bulldog came up to our front porch and Shadow just dove on his face. Wow. And, and the, the owner and the dog just went running. It was like, ah. Yeah, they, they they do such creepy things. It's unbelievable. And each time, I mean, I'm amazed watching them with all you guys. Because it's like they could have just, like we said when Anonymous came around, if they do nothing, these guys will be gone in a week. Because they're young kids. You know, they're going to get bored. It's like, who cares? You know what I mean? Yeah. But they didn't. They went after them and got their names and addresses and called their parents and said they were part of a totalitarian organization. Hi. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Good to see you. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Oh, look back. Oh, they, they left. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Who left? Who left? Um. Uh, oh, Cam. Oh. Yeah, he, he was taking a break. He's back though. Which one is? Cam? Right there. Hey, Oh, that's Cam. Yeah. Hey, Cam. I just realized I didn't know you're Cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can. Did you know I'm Tori? Yeah. I oh, hi. I hear your name all the time, and it's like, when is Cam coming back? And I'm like, who's Cam? I'm glad you're back. Where were you? Uh, I had to go back home for two weeks. Good. Yeah. So everything's okay, and you're back yeah, yeah. for good. It's better now. Good. Back well, now. Okay. I'm glad to meet you. I was hoping by the time I came back, this building wouldn't be here anymore. But what? yeah, it's going to act very long. But um, there you go. Um, if if, if people are because it's weird, people are using back, scared of the IRA. So it's weird they lost the war at the moment. Uh, I told you. No, Scientology didn't lose it. The IRS, the war is over. Scientology yeah. won. I'm saying, like, usually people are scared of the IRS. Like, I'm not saying that. No, no, I'm saying. Oh, you're saying you know how most people, they else. just don't want to mess with the IRS? Um, like, involving you know, taxes, they'll come after you and all right. that? But, so what makes people Scientology was able to intimidate them? So, uh, Do you remember what I told him about me going down and giving him, offering $10,000 if somebody will rat on him? Oh yeah. So they, I, I only did it one time, I, but I'm I, sure they sent people over and over till they had enough stuff uh, on LA you LA. and your mother and your Hi. father and you your husband and your wife and your kids. You see what I mean? Yeah. And you wait, wait, this guy, you know, stole yeah. this money or whatever, you know, shit. Who knows what they did? Okay. But once they get enough stuff, then they, I'm sure Miscavige went in and said, "Look, this is how much shit we have on you." So. We can either release it or the war is over. You know, you're going to stop fighting us and give us the tax exemption. That's, that's what I think. I wasn't in there. 
but that's what I so think. He used to look like dirty tricks and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, he announced the war is over, and he announced that he went in there and handled it. You know, it's like, come on. I know how to handle things. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's like the mafia. I, when I left Scientology, I escaped out. I got on the internet, and I started saying, look, they're just like the mafia. And critics started saying, don't call Scientology the mafia. It gives the mafia a bad name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You get out. Absolutely. I woke up. Um, it was, it was, a, yeah. I, my whole escape Freak story is on my YouTube site. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tori, T-O-R-Y. Yeah. And then Magoo, which was my Nick, my nickname for my dad. Okay. And 44, which was his football and number. Oh, yeah. Plays as the Chicago Cardinals. And he's in the Football Hall of Fame. So he died when I was 22. So now I wake up when I'm 53. Absolutely. And what, who am I going to talk to? I can't talk to my husband. I can't talk to my friends. I can't talk to Scientology. What am I going to do? Really intense. So. I just kind of plugged into my dad. And this is after I talked to Andreas, who was in Norway, who really helped me wake up. And so I just plugged into my dad and I thought, all right, what would he say? And I got, get out of LA now. You know, I'm only 15 minutes. From oh, so. And so he was like, get out of here. So I did. He got out of town. And I, at the time, didn't believe they did all this shit. Yeah. I thought, oh, no, they don't. All, I stood up in court. They don't do this. They're on her. That's not true. They canceled fair game, all this stuff. And I found out pretty quick. You know, they canceled my van. They canceled my van. The plane was canceled. I got inside. And Stacy had said who I was going to see in Clearwater. He said, bring your phone. And now everyone has a phone. But back then... We just had these flip, flip phone emergency phones. That was it. You know, you kind of kept them in your drawer if you needed them, and you went on a trip or something. So she said, bring a phone. And I said, Stacy, they don't do stuff like that. And she said, Tori, we used to run these programs. Believe me, they do. Wow. So I brought the phone, still thinking she's, she's, she's making it up. You know, they don't really do stuff like that. Now I get inside the LAX and the vice president comes mm -hmm. pounding up to me, who now is saying, oh, it was just an accident that I ran into her. And it's like, yeah, with all the papers about every person I was going to see and the black PR yeah, on it. Yeah. yeah. So she said, we know where you're going and you're not going there. And I got out my cell phone and I said, Stacy, the vice president was here. And she said, okay, hang on. And she put Jesse on. Jesse Prince used to run the church with Miss Gavick. And he said, okay, listen to me carefully. Do not set down the phone. Whatever you do, if you go to the bathroom, don't set down the phone. I'm going to get you on the plane. And it took a while, but I got on the plane. And then in Chicago, my husband was there coming up going, Tori, we need to go on a vacation. Well, I, he never was on the darker side of Scientology. So he didn't really know that shit, but I did. And I knew a vacation meant they were going to lock me up in a cabin. And I don't know what they do, but I knew it wasn't going to be good. And so I said, no, I'm not going on a vacation with you. I mean, I'm escaping out of a cult, and he wants to go on a vacation. I knew that was from going through my folders. What does she like to do? Oh, she likes to go on road trips, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So I said, look, I'm getting on the plane. And he goes, well, I'm coming with you. And I said, no, you're not. If you come with me, I'm going to call the police, wow. which in Scientology is, you know, a mortal mortal sin. So anyway, I got on the plane, and I thought, now I'm done. You know, because I'm in Chicago now. The next thing is 1.45 in the morning and they won't be there. Yeah. Wrong. They were all there. Big mob of Osa, the police, and Stacy, Bob, and Jesse. Wow. Who are my new friends. Yeah, so this is this is your harassment story. Yeah. Well, it was my escape story. story. Yeah, your escape. Yeah. And yeah. Then harassing you into being a participant. Yeah. I mean, yeah. literally from LAX to Tampa, I became an activist. I, I got in my house before I went to get on the, the thing. Right. I thought they don't do this stuff. Yeah. I was still in that mindset. I'm a, I'm a Scientologist. Right. I'm just leaving because I'm a scavenge. That's it. Yeah. By the time I got to Tampa, I realized they absolutely do what all the critics, people yeah. that were never in, had yeah. told me. Well, they pr proved it to you. In yeah. Actual fact. Yeah. yeah. They right proved it to me. Eyes. And they kept picking on me. So I wasn't going to speak out until if you watch Magoo dancing in Boston. And that video was two weeks after I'd been out. And that's when I started speaking out. Right. I do want to see that. Yeah. And I've heard you mention it before. It's Magoo dancing it. in Boston. Absolutely. It's a great video. Mark Funker made it. And I thought he was filming Stacy and Bob who were picketing. And I said, I'm not going to pick it. Not me. I told you I'm not going to pick it. 
And they said, okay, well, that's fine. And I said, I'll just go in and talk to him. So I walked into the Boston org. Yes. And I said, um, my name's Tori Crispin. I'm a Scientologist. And I said, well, actually, I so just. the Marlboro Street org in the back bay. I don't know. Yeah, no, that was the only Boston org at the okay. time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and at Brownstone. Yeah. Yeah. So I walked in and said, I'm a Tori Crispin. I'm a Scientologist. And then I thought about it. And I said, well, actually, I just left the church. So you better call HCO, right? Oh. <laughs> Which they have to call if, it, if something bad happens. Yep, yep, yep. And so, and she said, well, I am HCO. And I said, well, then we don't have a problem. Right. You can give me a tour. You know, I'm just kind of teasing with her, right? And they're out getting the picket signs and everything. Oh, yeah. And Carolyn Percy was there in reception selling books. Oh, wow. And she knew me. And she goes, Tori, it's Carolyn. Oh, yeah. And she goes, what are you doing here? And I said, honestly, I'm here with some really evil critics that are that are SPs and we're protesting. I'm not, but they are because I had said I'm not going to protest. You know? right, so right. I was like, I'm not protesting, right. but I'm coming here to talk to you guys. Yeah. And she goes, well, you, but first she said, you're in the book. And I had been I was I'm in the original. What is Scientology? Oh, wow. And then right before I left, they redid it in a little magazine oh. and she had a copy of it. And I had the Homer Simpson moment of this is the first and last time you will ever see this book. Uh, so I said, God. could I get a copy? And she goes, sure, take it. Yeah. So then I told her I was with Bob and Stacy. So, and so then she goes, well, you need to route out. And yeah. I go, well, I'm, I don't have that plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she goes, well, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to tell you, you should read the Internet and get find out the other side. Yeah. And I'm going to go outside. I went outside. And I still, if you watch Magoo Dancing in Boston, I'm just trying to talk to them through the whole thing. And you see how brainwashed I am. I'm like, Scientology believes in communication. Yeah, yes. Well, you guys know how. No. 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 They're, they're not very good at it. No. Not at all. Yeah. So they're filming me. And they won't. Once in a while, the guy would talk to me. And this other guy that you probably know would come and get me or get him and move him away from me. Oh, God. And so he kept filming me. And finally, I went up to Bob and I said, Bob, I'm really hot. And he goes, it's hard work for you in an SP, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, look, just go across the street to the van, turn on the air conditioning and relax for a few yeah, minutes yeah, and then come back. Absolutely. So I'm in the van across the street and that guy with the camera keeps filming me. And I, and I go like this, like, hey, man, I get it. I was yeah. there two weeks ago. Yeah. You know, I just... I yeah, I see you. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He keeps <laughs> filming me and he keeps filming me and I'm still not going to speak out. I'm still in that mindset. I'm never speaking out. Right. And he comes all the way across the street. And this is where you, you have to realize you never know what you might do that can change someone's life. Right. You put the, the camera on the window. And the second that camera touched the window, I went, you know what? I have free speech too. Yes. And maybe I have something to say. Oh. And that's where you see in the video, you'll see I go, Andreas. You know, it was just like, I'm free. You know what I mean? Absolutely. It burns you out. Yeah. Terrible ideas. That's terrible. Isn't that good though? Wonderful. I know. It's a really Again, this is the subject of a Yeah. I know. It's really creepy. And it was really amazing to see how brainwashed I am to go, Scientology believes in communication. What's wrong with you? You know, have you have you done a book? Have you have you no? I haven't done a book because I'm not a writer. That's my problem. I have great stories, but I'm not a writer. And everyone has told me. Perhaps the SPTV Foundation should facilitate the writing of a book of your story. I would love that. I, I, because I, I, the, the transmission of this kind of knowledge, your institutional knowledge inside and your long standing outside in the protest movement is unique. Yeah. As far as I can tell, it's yeah. unique. And, and we all need this for, for all time. Yeah. So I would so love to. SBTV, get on this. Do <laughs> Tori's book. Yeah. Do it. Do it today. Tori's a legend. Do it today. Absolutely. So well, I would love it because it really would be historical. So, and especially because I was in and then out. So I've been charged. Maybe you heard. We lost a protester in Boston. You did? KK. Oh, KK. KK. Yeah. yeah. Who died tragically in a motorcycle accident. I heard that. I've been charged with 
giving right. out some yeah, yeah, of the T-shirts that she made uh, throughout the place. And this is the last one that I have. Ah. Uh, uh, give it to you. Nice. Like, ah. Uh, it might be good for sleeping. It's not the right size, but it might have sentimental value. Oh, it's purple. It's purple. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, that is so sweet. Yes. Oh, and in honor of KK. Absolutely. Thank you. KK. Thank you. Efforts. Thank you so much. Do you have a card or anything? I do not have a card. See, I'm trying to tell people get cards. Yes. It's so successful. But here, I'll show you mine. I'll give you mine. Hi, are you? I will give you my uh, contact information and my actual name. Okay, I will. Can you I know, have, yeah. I know I have a pen in my car. I have a pen here. Oh, okay. I always have a pen and I always have a notebook. I don't know. Hold on. I got a pen. I don't think there's one. Yeah. Like, Can, you want me to hold your thing? Like a, uh, if you would. Yeah. I want her signature, please. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of she sequence and, and like what I'm seeing yeah. outside of a stream. Not even kidding. Who's on whose phone? I'm like, no, you have an opinion about it. Well, it's a good story. You got to admit that. Yeah. 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 It's uh, brilliant. It's weird how much connections they have, isn't it? You're, you're showing my. Oh. Shelf. Oh. Wait, which? Oh, this way. Oh, go ahead. There you go. Wait, where am I? Oh, is it front camera or back wall? Now that you like context of the snack, I gotta write that one. Um, the people are naturally. I think you're filming the just. Oh, okay. My bad. Yeah, it's very film. Yeah. It's weird how much connections they have, isn't it? I know. Like they can just do that at the airport and like shut your flight down. I don't know if they did. That was my first thought. Can Travolta shut down the flight? So that's me. Okay, Oliver. Hey, okay, wait. Wait, I'm in the... It's by my real name, but you know, don't give it up. So you knew John Travolta? Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. I help supervise him. Nice. Oh. Okay, yes. that's my home number. Good to see you. Yeah. He, he saw me hit 60 last night. Coming down. Like, that was pretty bad. rad. That was pretty rad. What pretty What rad. did he hit? I mean, I was like, woo! Not a ding-dang thing. It's do the cell. This is my card. Excellent. And then no, oh, my number is home. One's a home and one's cell. The, the home you can't text, but the cell you can. Fantastic. Thank but you don't do email. No, no, no. Okay. I'm really bad with email. I, I, will, uh, I will definitely oh, take sorry, that. In no advisement, because I would like to be in contact. I'm trying to... Um, we're traveling from town to town. I'm not sure, man. We're seeing that at the protest event. Wow. Uh, on this trip from Massachusetts. Oh, Please tell me. Okay. I'm just thinking, where's my phone? Okay. What? Yeah. Thank you, Barbara. What? So you're yeah. going city to city? Yeah. Boy, the, the fire truck's right here for the fire. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. There's a big fire behind you. <laughs> Don't scare me, you <laughs> rat. There's a fire in the basement next to the natural gas line. I owe you too, Jeffrey. You're going to get it. Believe me. I'm going to take more support. That was ratty. Good thing I held my position. They are going to stop. Sorry, now I'm trying to check some of the So, where do you go next? Um, Probably back to Austin. So, I. Uh, Thank um, you for the t shirt. That's very sweet absolutely. of you. So. I, I started out by going to the Ideal Org opening in Chicago Here, hold, for that protest. So I can show them. Wait. Yes. Hold that for a second. Wants to show the job. Yeah. Where's Shelly Miss really Dallas? That's so cool. Yeah, absolutely. And you should say what KK's, do you know what the thing is to send money? Oh, right. So um, let's see. Yeah. The, the go on me. Well, there's a link. Uh, have we put up KK's link? They had it on the um, on one of my chats. SCTV Foundation. Because Pearl Snap was there. Yeah, so because it, it's it's a unique identifier, um, and it, and th this entire link isn't even displayed. There's a lot of it's an alphanumeric string with dashes and things. Um, okay, then just to email it to me. No, I will definitely email it to you. And if anybody in the chat uh, could. Go over uh, to Tori's channel and try to alley oop that to one of her mods. 
uh, then we can drop that uh, that that GoFundMe into our chat. Oh, so that's good. Any of the rest of you, go over there and. Tori Christman forty four. Yes, Tori Christman forty four. Oh, oh, your your email. Yeah, yeah, that's the email. Absolutely. Um, but all of y'all in the chat, uh, anybody that that has the link, go over there and uh, let let her mods know and Next you know, get that link up there because we've almost hit ten thousand ten thousand dollars. Or man, oh. I don't know what the level is. We could have already beat ten thousand. Oh yeah, I bet you did. Yeah. yeah. What oh you no. Mean? Oh, you're uh, oh, my pain. Pain. your pain. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that that could be that could be. Yeah. So yeah, I went to the Ideal Org opening in Chicago, protested there. Oh, good. I thought days. you looked familiar. Yeah. And then um, how did that go? It was. I mean, we really disrupted it as much as possible, but we we were uh, met with the uh, highest level of resistance possible. Since you know, David Miscavige is there. Oh. All hands on deck. They had totally bought off the cops. Right. Uh, I was threatened with arrest within five minutes of reaching the site on wow. that day. Wow. And several other times we were legally trespassed from a public alley because it afforded us a better view. They had a tire street closure, so we were kept at the end of the block. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, that was tough. And then I went to Denver and hung out with Jay. Wow. And, uh, uh, protested there for about a week or so. And then I went to Austin and protested with Pearl Snappy. Wow. You get around. Definitely. We're at we're at ten thousand two hundred and thirty two dollars. We're going for fifteen now. Going for fifteen. This is dude. So when when we when um when Pearl Snappy took on the GoFundMe and was informed by the family, finally got in touch with the family and was given this link, they were at like thirty six, thirty seven hundred. And within 24 hours, we brought it over 10,000. Uh -huh. This community and, so and the rest of KK's, uh, um, you know, friends, her motorcycle club donated a lot. Uh, so That's such a shame that she got awesome. killed. It's awful. How old was she? Uh, I'm not exactly. I, I think um, some years my senior, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe 10. How old are you? 46. Yeah. So... In her fifties. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe older. I'm not. I'm not sure. But seem, seemingly, uh, definitely too young. Young enough to be tragic, right? Um, and especially, you know, motorcycle accident with a distracted driver. It completely sounds. Oh man, I hate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. It's so, it's so not right. Um, yeah, but there's a lot more of it. I mean, you know, we're all relying on these things. Side. You just have so to have kind of some hard and fast rules for them. Um, just like right. The regime, so, I'm saying. what are the hard and fast rules? Um, don't text and drive. Oh, uh, no. Don't stream and drive. Confident Chris, he drops. Somebody Confident send over Chris. some candy. <laughs> hey, it's what a so five second building, like like inside. But oh, pretty. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I I was telling some guys, it's like you know. You hear so so many horror stories yeah, yeah. that you just think everything is you know like a dungeon or something. Right. But if you went into Celebrity Center, it's it's so That's pretty, it. okay. and it's kind of like and and the people are like, "Wow, you came in! It's so great to see you." It's called love bomb no, oh, in the cult no, community, yeah, yeah. and they just love it, bomb you to death, and you're like, "Wow, this is nice yeah. and it's pretty and." They spend millions on renovating everything inside, so it looks really great. But these people are used to the country club life. They wouldn't accept anything. No, that's yeah. not true. That's not true at all. Are you no, kidding me? No, no, the celebrities. I, I'm oh, saying. oh. Not, not but, the people but I'm just there. saying, just so you know, when was right. the last time you were at Celebrity Center? Um, I, I've never been inside it. I've been outside okay. it. I, I, okay. I've only seen it from the outside, like with Okay, so just so you members. know, this is how it goes down. Okay, it used please. to be in the '69. I got in. Oh wow. '69 and '70 in the early '70s. Celebrity Center was created by Yvonne Jens. Okay. And back then, it was very. She was very in inclusive. So it didn't matter, you know, it was like what, oh. if you were a musician, if you're an artist, she was just happy you were there, oh, so right? It's really more freewheeling. Pardon me? Freewheeling. Very. Yeah. I mean, they had the, no. do you remember the old rugs where you, well, probably it's too, 
but you know they were like little patches of rugs and we got those and made a rug oh, and we were like nice. all right we got a rug you know at celebrity oh, center wow. it was very funky very hippie like a lot of hippies heber showed up with long hair and a guitar right and was, and he was a hippie you know and he and he church. ended up being the president of the church a lot of fire children yeah in the early days but right. now with cc the way it is the way they run it is okay. if you have connections or money, yes, you go to CC. Right, right, exactly. All the, yeah, the downstats, blue collar workers, etc., go to LA or right. That's it. Yeah. So nobody's ever there because everybody either says there's you know somebody right. or you know they pay enough money and so they you know anybody if you if you're kind of Kind of really anybody, they put you at CC now. Would you ever see, uh, uh, does Tom Cruise actually show up there? No, here's the deal. Tom Cruise I can't speak about because yeah. I never saw him there. That's right. But I was there when John Travolta came in. Right, and right. I was with Osa at the time, and they said, we'll show you the top secret. We'll show you how they get in. Yeah. They have a top secret par parking lot with CC that's yeah. just for celebrities, for the yeah. big celebrities. Yeah. They have a top secret stairway that they took me up. Right. A top secret course room with, you know, supervisors for these guys. That's it. That's right. their own thing. So they can get in and out without anybody ever seeing them. Yep. Right. But um, I was there when Travolta's pretty nice. You know, he's just a nice That's guy. What says. Yeah. So he, he doesn't care. So he came yeah. in and he had a few friends with him and they went into the restaurant to sit down. And right. everyone, the whole thing is always like, n don't you know, pawn over these guys, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, They're yeah, celebrities, yeah. leave them alone. Certainly. You know, so, yeah, yeah. so it's a very safe, comforting place for them. for them. Right. And that's why I say, you know, people go, well, they're not leaving because they have their dirty tricks. And I go, that's not why they're not leaving. I mean, first of all, John Travolta and Tom Cruise in one minute could call the media and have 500 media out in front of their house to tell their side of Scientology, whatever. you know, yeah, whatever. Absolutely. And Scientology knows that. So they're and not the going to. media would just lap up oh, anything. Oh, God, anything. They yeah. So they're not, they're not going to post their dirty tricks. Nope. But I, my view, this is my opinion, is yeah. that it, having been around a lot, of, not a lot, but my dad was a celebrity and he had celebrity friends and stuff sure, like sure. that. And it takes a lot to stay at the top of being a celebrity. Even so if you're John Travolta or Tom Cruise. You bet. But think about it. If you're a Scientologist, you are the red carpet treatment around the world. Yep. Right? So why leave? Yep. That's what I say. It's like, that. what would be the reason for them to leave? You know, the, and they believe, I don't think Travolta, I don't think Travolta believes in clearing the planet anymore. No. I don't. Yeah, I, I think you're right. But I think Tom Cruise probably. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Way in they it. just like the connections, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's like the um, the publicity side of uh, David Miscavige's project. Basically, right. it's like the publicity shadow of David Miscavige's. It's kind of turned Tom Cruise into a version of himself. I know. Himself it's, I know it's really pathetic. It's really weird. It is. Yeah. Pathetic. I don't know if you saw the like the birthday celebration on that private yacht and like all of their rowing together. I know. You know, it's really weird. And that's where everybody thinks he's gay, but he's not. I don't think he is. Everyone we know, no one that we know can say yes, he is. Right. Whereas, you know, so I don't think he is. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, Mimi Rogers, who was his original wife, said he's right. asexual. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, but, but I... uh I mean, it's a person that maybe uh, because in his young adult life was taken into Scientology and maybe didn't get to develop any of these. True. And at the time, like it still wasn't widely accepted. True. You know, as a young actor, it was the very beginning, very, very beginning of the AIDS crisis and anybody right. being aware of that. Now, that, that was also maybe a scary thing. If you True. weren't aware of yourself, maybe you weren't going to start right then. Yeah. And maybe you didn't have a very progressive upbringing. And so that that also wouldn't be accepted. And then right. you joined a religious movement. I right. would absolutely never accept it. Like, right. Like one, one on the tongue. Yeah, screen, never. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Yeah, they're totally anti-gay. I remember when yeah. I have some gay friends that I love. In fact, Andrew was the one who turned me on to Jessica, yeah. to all of you guys. You I know, know, he, know. he said, you got to go to TikTok and see this chick. And I said, Andrew, you know I don't do TikTok. And he yeah. said, he said, just go type in Jessica Pomodesco. And I did. And I was like, oh, well, my 
God, it's another layer. It's got a real attitude. It was so it's great. Got a, it's real spark plug. I know, real spark. Uh, as, 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 they, as they would say back in the day. You don't hear but that. Very of them. It was spark. really great to see the live streaming. I'd yes. never seen that. It was like, oh my God, this is a whole well, new gym. Per- I mean, I've been doing protesting since I was 12. But the first one was Desert Storm. Wow. Um, and then, you know, uh, AIDS Action Boston, whatever it was that they were doing. Um, this is the first time I've I've used a phone or had any like recognition wow. other than like going off and on site for like anti war protests. Wow! You, know, you just get like tear gas and beat up, and then you go home and congratulate yourself, but nobody else knows. Right? Yeah. I know. I've been, I've been in many, many, many it's more like underground. Oh well, I mean, you, you definitely. I mean, some people don't care if they're identified. There's there, there are a lot of um a lot of citizens on the street for the big ones like. The, the protest for the forever wars in 2003. Are on because parking enforcement's given everybody. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Do you need it? Are you good? No. You're not. Let, let me. Let, let me. All right. Wait. Right here. I, I hope I am. How far away is the. Can you see him? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see him? They're not telling me. I got to get in my car, guys, so it's going to get all weird. So I got to get my keys out. Shit, they're here. They're already giving me tickets. All right. All right. I got to put that on the top of the car. Don't hit me. Ah. All right, here you go. I gotta move the car. Oof, it's red. Okay, gotta get out of here. I don't know what happened to Jessica. I gotta set you guys down there. Oi, I gotta get going. Quick, oi. Ah! All right. Yeah, I'm out of here. Good, this is all red all along here. Rats. I don't know where Jessica went. Thank goodness she told me. And this is. Okay, they're not there. I don't know where they are. I know where Jessica is. Oh, here's the here they are. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. Wow, oh, just the guy tagging him. Wow, and I almost parked there. Can you guys see it? Anyway, here's the parking instructor guy. He's back there. I don't know if you can see him or not. Wow, what a rat. Thank God I didn't park there. Thank goodness Jesse told Jessica told me. Thank you, Jessica. Who's this knucklehead? I'm going to try to go back around and see if I can find Jessica. Oh, wow. All the garbage cans are out there. Boy, that was, that was spooky kooky. I don't know if you guys are on here or not. I can't see. I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just driving my car. That's you. This is Kaiser across the street from Scientology, which it often looks like Scientology has their parking is all filled but my friend used to work at kaiser and he said yeah that's because they let them they let the kaiser employees park in the scientology parking lot see here's the scientology thing Ooh, uh oh here comes a fire department Woo! they're coming to get us no they're not oh here's scientology and there's there's the parking lot which is empty now but in the day a lot of times it's filled up because they the employees fill it up. All right, so let me go down here. This is L. Ron Hubbard Way. Empty, dead, as usual. So that is sunrise. I know that... Is this your... Is your phone safe? Yeah, I'm on. I'm. This is my phone. It's on my steering wheel. So I'm trying to find Jessica. 
Well, if I see here, and it, this is all white, so I know that's wrong. I don't remember what the color is back. Come on. Sorry, Sunset. Did you phone and say, thank you for asking. Okay, now, all right, here's the green. Let's see where they are. Okay, here are the kids. So here. Um, oh yeah. So uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna leave right now. You can take my spot. Oh, I'm I'm gonna leave too. If you guys are leaving. Okay. Well, well. Is just, Jessica? I'm, just I was gonna leave. I guess Jessica and and, and uh, Chris are still here. Oh, they are. Uh, somewhere around the block, but but yeah. All right, I'll take your space. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna back up as soon as he backs. Oh, he that's his car. Ooh. Oh, here's here's Chris. No, that isn't Chris. Come on. Come on, come on. Hmm, I don't know how to fix this, but I have a feeling. Here, I'll turn on my turn signal to show that I'm waiting for this guy to please leave. I don't know how to fix my phone. It's all screwed up, and I know, I know Jessica knows how to do it. Oh, here's Chris. Chris, here, open my door. Oh, can you open the door? What do I, open the door. Open yeah. Yes. Do you know how to get rid of all those things and get it black? <laughs> you put the filters on. Yeah. I, just, I don't know how to do it. You put those, these are filters, basically. Uh, let me see. Oh, get it off? Wait, one second. There. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna park there. All right. So uh, he, he he's leaving, I think, right? Who was that? Is he leaving? No, oh I yeah. Think, I don't yeah. Know. I don't yeah. Think so. Yeah, he's leaving. There he is. Come on. Here you go. All right, good. Now let's. More or go with this? Is it red? We're that way. We're hitting the curve. Oh, okay. Is it? Tell me when, Chris, tell me when. Am I okay? Chris. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, here I am. All right, so I don't know if you guys stayed or not. Let's see, rotate the thing. Okay, let's see if there's, ah, there you are. Hello. All right, thank you for that little drive. Sorry. I got to get out and see if I'm okay. These guys will know. Okay. Hang on, stand by. Oh, you they I don't get me. Shit. Oh. 
Chris, am I in the green? Am I in the red? I'm still in the red. Chris, yeah. I'm still in the red. No, you're good with the tire. You're, good. you're sure? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You got the handicap wheel. All right. So if you're in the handicap, you can park on red, basically. Can you help me up? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I can get up with the thing. I can get up with sure. the car. Yeah. As long as I have a car, I'm good. You, you'll always see me holding on to cars. It's a car? Is yeah, it? I never. I just got this little walking stick. I normally never have one. All oh, right, on. How have you been? It's good to see good. you again. It's good to see you too, yeah, Jacob. Hi, thank you, <laughs> thank you very much. I, it really helps me. No problem. No can you problem. hold this in oh, my yeah. walking stick, and I can put my jacket in? Yeah, no worries. One sec. So, <laughs> She's right there. <laughs> She's right there. <laughs> I want to see where the parking department guy went. I want to see. Where not to park there? They're still here. They're right around the corner. It's too bad because Zach got a ticket. You guys? She did get a ticket? Uh, no, Zach, Zach did, is what I'm hearing. Oh, he did? Yeah, which is. A bummer. I actually got one the night of uh, the party at. Jessica, are you going to park in the red? <laughs> no, I'm not. My He said my tires are okay. Oh, he came? I can back up more, and then you can back up more. See, look at how much I have. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to be able to back up anymore. Okay. Well, isn't the parking guy right around the corner? Yeah, and if he comes over, I'm going to knock him out. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jessica. Hi. Where do you park at? Like around? Uh, I usually park on Edgemont, so like a bit of a walk away from here. Not right, not That's right by. That's good. Up by the light. Yeah. yeah. I was telling my chat a story about the first time I ever came here on New Year's Day of 2022. I parked at the Wendy's right there, oh. thinking that I was smart parking far away because it's like a seven minute walk from the front entrance up right. there. But it's right on the other side of AOL, yeah. and I didn't realize that because <laughs> they own so much property here. I know. But. I've really? learned my lesson. Yep. Because they were right there in the parking lot when I got to my car. I was like, there's a security guy on his bike, and I was like trying to pull out of the parking lot. I was like, you can go. He was like, I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> you could but, go. Yeah. I can't believe Laura wanted you to climb up that tree. <laughs> oh, I missed it. <laughs> you missed it, but she was intense. I was proud of you. You kept it together. I like, no. kept it together. Did you do well, it? you did. No, I had tried before Lara got there. Oh, <laughs> I was trying, but I was. My hands were covered in dirt. I was, they were getting all scratched up. It was like impossible. And I was like, no. And then Lara came. She was like, how can I do it? She's like flying up the tree. She's like, I climbed trees back in my day. And then, um, and then she was like insistent on me climbing up that tree. <laughs> yeah, no, she really was. It was like. She was not letting it go. <laughs> I know, and I kept saying, I agreed with Jess. It was like, no, don't. You know, because it just, it didn't feel right. It's like, if you wanted to do it, you would have done it. Chris up there. And then, I know. Chris couldn't get down for like 20 minutes. I know, Chris. Seemed so nervous. It's a nightmare. So Laura was ordering people around yeah. today. <laughs> well, with the tree she was. She was into it. She's, she should be a gymnast, though. She really should. Yeah. She was good. Yeah. She had lots of time to train, I guess, but she was in Scientology. Yeah. <laughs> climbing the trees out there. <laughs> the MAA. Yeah. That was her job, I think. You were never in the Sea Org, right? I was. Oh, you were in the Sea Org? Yeah. What was your for, post? I, I didn't have a post. I, I have epilepsy, and I ran out of my medicine. And I was out on the ship, out on the boulevard, out in the L.A. Harbor, doing ship training. Oh. I had joined at Asher. And they said, um, I, was, that's right here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I said, look, but, but it was on Temple Street at the time. Oh, OK. Got and it. I said, um, look, I ran out of my medicine. I have to get a refill. And he said, well, we'll send you down to the MLO, which I didn't know what that was. The medical liaison. Officer. 18 year old kid knew nothing about medicine. And he said, you know, we're the top 10 percent of the planet. We don't take medicine. And that's it. You're going to use Dianetics and vitamins and get off it. And I ended up having a lot of grand mal seizures, and that was the end of me being in the sea org. Actually, now that's jogging my memory. I yeah. think I did hear you tell part yeah. of that story, but gosh. Well, I guess you kind of got saved from yeah. being in the sea yeah. org. Yeah, I really <laughs> wanted to, but that's why I'm in all kinds of things, because I wanted to be in the sea org. So they, they got me volunteering everywhere. You know what I mean? I see. And I was on staff. I was on staff NSO, which is non-sea org. 
at CC and AO stuff like that. Are you leaving? No. Where are you going to move it? Spot down there, but I wasn't sure. And now you sure you don't want me to just back up? Can't we both fit in there? That would be close. <laughs> uh, well, I'm just saying if you if you stand there and hit my car when I think we can. Uh, just you you stay there. Yeah, yeah. So tap how far I can go back. So okay. I don't hit that guy. Sounds good. Now I got to put you guys on the roof again. Sorry. Okay, so you're going to watch this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm watching. Stop. Uh, you're not going to get an active band here. You've only got, like, maybe that much more than you go. Yeah, yeah, the red is. Well, I guess up to you. Uh, if you go back as far as you can, so I can still do it. You're just going to win. Okay, okay. No problem. Oh, I left my phone on the roof. Oh, you? Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Ooh, am I okay here? I think so. Except you, you would probably want to come around the other way. I mean, it's close, but also there's this patch of red right behind here. So this guy, will, this person will be able to, should be able to get out if they just back out. Oh, it's right here anyway. Right, yeah, yeah. Where's Jess? Where's she going? She, she's not going to fit. It's, oh, it's not? Yeah, we tried, but... She's a lot of her car would still be in the red. Okay. So should I move mine up a little bit so he can get this guy can get out? If you want, but I, I don't, I think it'll be okay for him. I, I think he'll be okay, but yeah, I guess it's up to you. I'll just move it up a little bit. I don't Okay. Do you want to move? Do you want me to grab your phone? Yeah, or? Okay. <laughs> hey, Justin, good to see you in here. I offered to grab the phone. I don't have a car. Just... <laughs> Let's keep brushes with thoughts and the efficacy of the young protests. I think that we're having an impact. I mean, I think that I know that there have been a handful of people who have been on their way in that we heard from going inside. When I say he, I'm just referring generally to the cluster of folks. That's better. Uh, and the other one, that was a little too close. What was that? Her, my car with his. Oh, yeah. Oh, is this your car right here? No, it's on the Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but just whoever's it is. Yeah, yeah it's just you. a little close. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure who that is. Thank God, Jessica, Jessica came to tell me, though. Yeah. Because they yeah. were right around the corner. Yeah, Who exactly. got the ticket? Zachary. He's the one. He often has a yellow jacket on and, like, uh, buzzed hair. Um, 
he I, I can point him out. Oh yeah, he was around. I think he was here. He was there at uh at the party that we were at yeah. a few weeks ago. But I mean, ago. I think yeah. he was here tonight, right? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. tonight that he got it, right? Yeah. I, I didn't see it happen. I just. $68 or something like that? The, yeah, the it's thing. a lot. It's awful. I forget why. I almost parked there, too. Oh, God. And then I thought, now, wait a minute. It's a white zone. And I couldn't remember if my little disability thing works for white zones or not. But I thought, don't chance it, Tori. <laughs> and then I talked to them, and they were like, oh, yeah, park here. Luckily, Jessica. Hey, nice. You oh, made it back. Without getting a ticket, so I need to see that. Oh, okay. is? Is it that? Yeah. Oh, sure? go on. Wait, oh, stay here. Go on. No, you, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. You can go off. Let's stay I, here. Oh, I'm, are you are you going to sit here for a yeah, little bit? Yeah, I'm fine. Go is on. You? I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Fine. You can leave me here. Get out of here. I've been here for years. I'll be right back. Don't worry about it. You got go. You don't have to stay. No. I like to hear some more stories. Huh? About Scientology. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What do you want to hear? Um. So, like, did you meet any musicians? Like, good musicians? Yeah. Like, um, Jimi Hendrix. I met. I I don't know if I met Jimi Hendrix, but I was at parties with the Doors. And um, Janis Joplin and, oh, wow. you know, just old 60s guys, you know. Yeah. I was at Hate ashbury I was right up the street from the sign, Hate and Ashbury. Oh, I was cool. right up the, si the street from that. What was Jim Morrison like as a girl? Yes. Okay. I mean, I, you know, when you, we were all stoned all the time, so I have no idea you okay. know, whether they were really cool or not. They yeah. seem cool to me. We had a good time. That was we were mostly just partying all the time. Oh, okay. Partying and protesting. That oh. was it. We were partying and then protesting the war. Yeah. The Vietnam War. Okay. So Scientology, you, you also No, it wasn't Scientology. I was in Scientology. Oh, that was before. This is the sixty. Oh, okay. I got in Scientology in sixty nine. All right. So I was there in Haight Ashbury in sixty seven, sixty eight, sixty nine, sixty nine I got in Scientology. Oh, cool. Yeah. It sounds exciting. You're protesting the war. Yeah, it was. And I ran into Gracie Slick, who was pro you don't probably even know the Jefferson Airplane. Oh, her, yeah. Yeah. But she was at the Egyptian Theater, which is right down from the testing center. Yeah. And she was at the Egyptian for a movie they were showing. And she had all of her art there. And she's an amazing artist. So she, I told her my whole story. And, they, you know, they were there. They, they were film, you know, professional camera people there to film her. And they were taking forever. And the guy that created the Monterey Pop Festival, have you ever heard of that? Yeah. He was there too. Oh, wow. And, and I was and that's there. Jimmy Hendrix first premiered, right? Monterey? Right. Yeah. And so I was just there taking little snapshots, you know, this and that, and that. And he goes, You're amazing. You've taken about 200 shots while these guys have taken three. Yeah. And she was really pissed. And she looked up at him and she said, Do you think you finally got the shot for me? And so then I told her about my life and that I was in I was in Haight Ashbury when she was there and I saw her and it really helped me. And then I got in the cult and I was in that for 30 years and now I escaped out and I'm out. And she goes, Wow, you've got full circle. Yeah. She was really supportive. It was really cool. Wow. Yeah. So you kind of saw people up and coming musicians. Yeah. The Hollywood. Yeah, very, very in the beginning. For many of them, in, in the Haight Ashbury and then in Scientology too, there were quite a few. They had really good musicians. Yeah. And what it about was Led Zeppelin. Um, what about them? Did you meet anyone from? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they're. But I like their music. Yeah. Yeah. But that's awesome. Yeah. Because I love the Doors, so it was cool. You like got to hang out with them. Yeah, it was it was a cool life being in the Haight Ashbury at that time. It was yeah. a really fun time. You know, it's one of those things where you're either there or you're not, you know, and if you are, it's it's everyone that's there has the same, you know, incredible memories. Yeah. So in like Hollywood, it's like, was it kind of like it changed a lot, right? Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah, it used to be. It just was a different it was a different place. Hollywood was. Yeah. Um, even in 69, when I got here, you know, it was, it was funky, you know, it's like Scientology bought all those buildings up on sunset and we were like, why are you buying these buildings? I mean, Scientology was all geared down on eighth street. 
Okay. Have you ever been there, MacArthur Park? Yeah, yeah. It's really funky. And it was like, it was a bunch of bombs and then Celebrity Center with all these artists. And yeah. She, Yvonne had out this little sandwich bar thing saying, you know, everyone's welcome. And so people would come in from all over the place because they'd get these different musicians and they'd come and yeah. It was just fun. It was a really fun time to be. It was so different than, you know, what you see for Scientology now. It's just so different. Yeah. So that's kind of what brought you in when you saw that? No, I I read Dianetics. Only three chapters of it. But I read three chapters and I wanted to be a doctor. My grandfather's a doctor. And I was in college to become a doctor. And I hate school. And I just, I mean, I love education and I love reading, but I don't like, you know, school kind of thing. Yeah. And so I thought I'm never going to make it for four years of school, four years of medical school, internships. You know, it's going to be an eternity. Yeah. And this guy from high school brought me a Dianetics book and I read the three chapters about clearing someone. And I thought, well, this is sort of like being a doctor. Not really. No. Yeah. So. You know, it was one of those things where it, it sort of was. So anyway, I had an argument with my dad and he said, go to bed. And I said, Dad, it's I'm in college. It's 1030 at night. I'm, I've always been a night owl because yeah. I used to go with my grandfather, who was the doctor. And he had a little black bag and we'd go house to house at night. And I'd say, wake me up if you have a night. So he'd go, all right, come on. We got a call. Wow. So I'd go with him. Yeah. So I, I just turned into a night owl. And. So now my dad, it says, I'm in college. And he goes, go to bed. And I said, Dad, you know, I'm in college. Leave me alone. It's only 1030. And he, he got really mad. He said, look, it's our morals, you know, school. And so I wrote on my mirror, I'm in Chicago. Your morals are no school. Screw you. Oh, that's so I did. And I loved my dad, but I was really mad. And, and at the back of the Dianetics book, it says St. Hill, England, which is England or American St. Hill in L.A., which was on Temple Street at the time, not here. Yeah, yeah. And it was on Temple Street. And so I thought, well, I can't make it to England, so it looks like... Going there. So I hitchhiked. Yeah. I hitchhiked from Chicago to here. Wow. That's a long way yeah. by yourself, a woman. Yeah. But it was 1969, and people hitchhiked. It wasn't that big a deal. Yeah, it was more like uh, safer then. Yeah, right? much safer. So I made it and went up to temple and you know that's a whole nother story but yeah there you go there's a great book you should read if you haven't read it called blink okay. have you ever read it no it's a really good book to read it's about your first instincts okay and like there the first example is the getty center and they had a statue there and people were studying it for like a year okay. and saying wow this is really great it's the i think the 18th century or something like that and finally, one day, a guy walked in and he said, that's a phony. It was never in the ground. So they went to the guy that bought it. And they said, OK, what was your first instinct? Yeah. And he said, my very first instinct. And they said, yeah, your very first instinct. And he said, my very first instinct was it's a phony. And that's how I was with Scientology. I walked up to Temple Street. And there was, at the time, they had all these huge pictures of L. Ron Hubbard. And I thought he looked like Adolf Hitler, you know, because Hitler always had those big pictures of himself. Yeah. So I thought, well, that's kind of weird. And the Sea Org were all in those Navy uniforms back then. So they're all marching around. And I'm like, OK, this is I've been fighting Vietnam War. I'm not really thrilled to be joining some military thing. Yeah. And they were super organized. And I was a hippie. You know, it just was like, I don't really think this is for me. So I should have just turned around and left. But, you know, it, that's why I'm saying that you're anyone listening to this, read the book Blink, because they have example after example where people thought I should do X and they don't. Oh, OK. Yeah. You know, it's just like you don't. And so you have to train yourself to really listen to yourself, hear your first instinct and do it. And that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So now I walk. I, I, my, the friend that gave me the book said, just ask for John Hildebrand. He's on the big, big horse there. So I walked in and I said, okay, I want to talk to John Hildebrand. He's on the big horse. And she's kind of snotty. And she goes, you can't. He's on courts. He'll call you at 1035. I said, okay. Now, nobody had phones back then. You had to, you had, they had to call this guy's house. But I was staying at some guy's house. So I gave her the phone number, went out there, got stoned, because I thought, they're not going to call us. 
yeah, this guy's not good. You know, we were hippies. You never do anything. You get stoned and say you're going to do these things and you don't. So I thought, no way, they're not going to do it. So sure enough, you know, all of a sudden at 1035, I mean, we're giggling. We're on the floor. We're goofing around. And the phone rings. And I go, it's the guy. And he goes, this is John Hildebrand calling, you know. And he goes, um, I'll come out. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Give me the address. And he drives out there. Wow. And he then he was smart enough to go, don't talk to her here because we were all stoned and everything. So he drove me back to Temple Street. And back in that day, see, like now there's nothing. There's, I mean, you can see we can go up to L. Ron Hubbard Way. There's just nothing. It's just empty. There's nobody around here. Yeah. But back then at 1030 at night, there were probably at least 100 people outside all chatting. Wow. Auditor. Okay. And that's what I wanted to be was an auditor. So he had me sit in the car and he said, okay, what, how do you, what, do you have any considerations about this? And I said, well, I don't like the guy with the big pictures. What's that all about? And he goes, I don't worry about it. That's Hubbard. It's just his stuff. Don't worry about it. And I said, well, what about the Sea Org? There are, are those guys marching around in the uniforms. And he said, well, that's the Sea Org. And that's not us anyway. So don't worry about it. What do you want to do? And I said, I want to be an auditor. And he said, all right. And he went and got a six pack of beer. And I thought, well, it can't be all bad. He yeah. bought beer, right? <laughs> yeah. So that was my monitor of like, you know, is he, because they all seemed so straight. And it was just like, it wasn't me. I was a hippie. So anyway, then he bought the beer and I thought, okay, he's not, he's not all bad. And then he said, let's go talk to the auditors. And I remember the second my critical thinking turned off. You know, I, I turned it off and I just thought, I don't care what these people do. I want to be one of them. Wow. And that was it. I was in as a true believer. Yeah. You know, it was just like, forget it. Yeah. And See, that was for 30 years. Wow. I was in it. And they like cut you off from your family, right? For the most part. Well, what they do, like I have epilepsy, right? Yeah. I haven't had a seizure in 30 years now, but back then they took me off my medicine. I had seizures and they said, well, you know, we have to send you to ethics. You know, you're a potential trouble source, Tori, because you have this physical illness. Yeah. But if we handle the source of it, then you'll you'll be better. So, of course, the only person that was mad at me being in Scientology was my mom because I was having these seizures. Right. Yeah. And she was like, this is ridiculous. So I, I we decided she must be the suppressive person. Now, back then, Hubbard had. All these different levels you could do to handle a suppressive person. Yeah. And the last thing, and he said, the very, very last thing you should do is disconnect. Okay. But in between, you should try all these other things. And one of them was good roads and fair weather. So I did that with my mom for 30 years. Okay. You know, you're just talking about stuff, but it's not getting into anything. Yeah. But it was okay because my dad died and she married a con man. And that guy was awful and turned her into an alcoholic. Jeez. So even my brothers who weren't Scientologists said, that sounds great. The good words for weather. Because then we don't have to talk to her about, you know, because she'd grill us on all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So like when you, when did you finally just start, what made you finally decide to leave? In 2000. Oh, okay. I got in in 1969 and at 53 in 2000. Yeah. I was 22 when I got in and 53 when I escaped out. Wow. And at the time, like I said, I didn't really think they did all this horrible stuff. Hi. How are you? Hello. How are you doing? Don't ever get in Scientology. Don't ever join that. You said never join it? No. And they're after people like you. Oh, all right. What's that supposed to mean? Well, come over here and talk to me. I can't yell at you. They like younger people. You're younger, right? Uh, okay. So they like younger people. They're after right now. Anyone who speaks two languages, African-Americans, Hispanics, or Asians. And if you, if you have money, they'll take all your money. I was in it for 30 years, so I'm speaking from experience. If you have money, they'll take your money. If you don't have money, they'll sign you up for a billion-year contract. And a lot of people do it. Not anymore so much. But that's because people like me are out telling you not to. I got to look it up first. But Here, I have a card. Do you want a card? I'll give you my card. Here, hold it. Because here's the thing. 
you look it up and it sounds fantastic. I mean, it's like, you know, they've got how great it is and it'll help you with all anything, any problem you have. But the truth is, it's just a giant scam. So here's my card. This is all the stuff they won't tell you. Uh -huh. right. So Thank you. look that up and learn it. And then, then you can look up Scientology, but then you know both sides. And then you can make a fair, you see what I mean? Like that Zenu guy, that's, that's the, think of it like a triangle. Yeah. And you don't find out about the stuff on that card until you're at the top of the triangle. And by then you've already invested most of your money. All your friends are Scientologists. I lost all my friends and my husband of 27 years overnight. Overnight, just because I left. So that's why I say to people, don't, don't get into it. They make it sound like it's great, but it's not. You're welcome. So, like, what changed your mind on Scientology when you were like, I'm, I want to get out of here now? Well, I was in a top secret mafia for probably about 10 years. Okay. And it was my auditor, who's like a counselor, and my best friend. And he was highly trained. And he, the internet had come around. And he said, look, we've got to handle the internet, Tori. And I want you to help me. And I said, well, okay, what do you want me to do? I mean, I really like this guy. And I trusted him. Yeah. So I said, okay, you know, what do you want me to do? And he said, um, I just want you to open one account. Just one account. That's all. This is in the 90s. And, he, and I said, well, what's the big deal on that? And he said, well, you have to open them up. With most of these things, you have to go online and open it up. Yeah. But I want you to go in with a cashier's check and a phony name and just get an email and a password. And if you get that, that's it. I said, okay, I can do that. So I go in and I say, I, I have an emergency, blah, blah, blah. I need to get, I need to open up an account and get an email and a password. Here you go. So he, I give him the money and he gives me the thing and I go back to Bill and Bill goes, I mean, he had a grin like as big as that. Like, he yeah. was just beaming. And he goes, oh, my God. And I go, what? And he goes, you have just changed the history of the Internet. And I said, Bill, how can I change the history of the Internet when I don't know what it is? Yeah. You know, it was just like. It just didn't make sense to me. But anyway, he slowly got me to open more accounts and he started. The three goals are distract off of anything having to do with Scientology. Divide and conquer, get people against each other, and just slime the area. Oh, on the internet? Yeah. Oh, wow. All three of these are on the end. Yeah. So what was the cashier's check for on the fake account just to, like, do stuff on? on your to account? open an account. You had to pay the account. So, you, so now he had an account that was an anonymous account. Do you see what I mean? It wasn't his name. It, it was some other guy's name. Okay, but what was he going to do with that? He was going to get people to see back then. This was way before your time, but back then they had um, on the internet. They didn't have web pages back in the nineties. It was all linear. They had a thing called alt religion Scientology, and it was like one thing after another thing after another thing. So their goal was someone would come on and say, "L. Ron Hubbard's a liar." Yeah. Well, they didn't want people to see that. So they would drive it down the page oh. onto the second page. And their view, and I think they're right on this. What's going on up there? They said, um, nobody, no, nobody, um, most people don't read the second page. They don't. Okay. When you think about it, they don't read all of it on the first page and on the second page. Yeah. So that was pretty true. So their goal was to drive it all the way down and onto the second page. Okay. And I didn't know what they were doing. He wouldn't tell me. Yeah. And I trusted him. And I had said in session, I trust you with my life. Yeah. I had told him that. Okay. And I realized later, oh, yeah. So they just went through my folder and found that and thought, perfect mark. You know, she'll do anything. Yeah. So they were just like using you, right? Yeah. Okay. So they got my auditor to use me. Yeah. You see what I mean? It was like my stuff. counselor. It's like having a therapist use you. Yeah. It's really it's creepy. Like a total betrayal. Yeah. Okay. And 
they ended up turning on me and like totally throwing me under the bus. And he was part of it. And I was really pissed. That was really the night I left Scientology. I didn't leave for a few months after that. But in my mind, that was it. It was like, yeah. I didn't get into Scientology to have all of you fuckheads turn on me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and what happened was I was too afraid to look on the internet, which sounds really stupid now, but at the time they really, it was scary. And he kept saying, I, one of my friends supposedly went crazy. It turned out they drugged her and reverse audited her. Auditing makes you better. Reverse auditing makes you worse. They can do that? Yeah, they do. And so they drugged her. I didn't know that. I didn't know they could. Yeah. And so I got out and then she called me and, and I thought, he he was our auditor and and our friend. Yeah. And he told me she went crazy because she was reading the internet, Tori. This is in the nineties before everybody was on the internet. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, wow, I'm definitely not looking on the internet. He said they're evil people. Believe me, they're very and they believe that. They really believe we're really evil people. Yeah. They like think they're saving the world or something. Like right. That. Yeah. Yeah. Even though, I mean, they're obviously, you go to any org and look in it, and it's empty. Yeah. There's nobody there. That's it's weird they say they're saving the world, then do that something like that to you. Yeah. To betray you like that. I know. It was really creepy. So listen to what happens. I go on the internet. I finally see what they're doing. The day that I looked, they had baking recipes. Thank God. Yeah. So it's like a hundred baking recipes, how to break a chocolate cake, cupcakes, everything else. And in between were people, real critics saying, I didn't say that. Scientology is changing my words. Wow. And so I, I freak out. I realized that's from my accounts that I opened up. Yeah. They're stopping free speech. Wow. So I think I can't do this. And all of a sudden I realized this is from a scavenge. This is like all the way up lines. Yeah. And I freak out and I think I got to get out of this. So I call up Bill and I go, Hey Bill, you know, I got to get back to work. So I just wanted to let you know. And he goes, okay, no problem. You know, just meet us at this apartment. Now this was a key thing in Tori Christman's life. If, and I was Tori Bizazzi and then, cause I was married, but if they had not done this, I would still be in Scientology. Oh, okay. But he said, just meet us at this apartment in, in Glendale. I said, okay. So I went and it, it's getting very dark and it's all big men, like big, tall and all guys I knew. But normally they're like, Tori, hi, you know, big hugs. And none of them are doing that. They're all like, hello, hello, hello. And I'm thinking, OK, something feels very weird here. And it's like eight guys and me. I'm one female woman. Right. Yeah. So it was a little weird. And they're not being friendly. Right. Yeah. And Bill isn't there. He's the guy that got me into this. He's the guy that said, we'll always back you up. Where is he? Yeah. He's not here now. All of a sudden, the door slams open. And in comes Gavino, who's the guy that worked for OSA. He's on staff running this. Yeah. And Bill. And Gavino looks at Bill and he goes, I warned you about her. I warned you about her. And I'm like, you warned him about what? You know, you're my best friend and auditor. And he warned you about me? Yeah. You know, I was pissed. And they, so then they just pounded me for about an hour or two, you know, just yelling at me. And it was just awful. And I finally just cracked and I just burst out crying and I ran out and Bill came running after me. And I knew at that point he knew he screwed up. Okay. Cause that was, I mean, I just snapped, like I'm done. That's it. I didn't get into Scientology to do this. I'm not going to do this. It's over. And I got my, and he came running after me. I said, get away from me, get away from me. And I got in my car and I just drove off and I just cried all the way home. I was like, so upset. It was awful. Wow. But anyway. So then that's the day you left, right? No, no, that's not the day I left. That's the day I, my Truman show cracked in half. Look at that guy. Wow. Man, that's a life. Hi. That's an interesting story though. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like that they do stuff like that is like. Wow. I know it's unbelievable. Yeah. It, it, it's it's really, but so you have to know most people don't ever see anything like that. So yeah. it's the vast majority like just are that. doing courses and yeah. and and they, you know it's like some work a little bit, a lot of it doesn't work. Yeah. But you're surrounded by people saying it works. Yeah. So you're, you're thinking it must right? be you. Yeah. yeah. I was. It's a triangle, and the top is OT eight. I was OT seven. Oh wow. So you. are I was on it seven years and, I, you know, you're thinking it must be me because everybody else is winning. Well, now that I got out, I found out we all were sitting around and it was like, I wasn't winning on it. Nobody was. Nobody was. It yeah. turned out they were all just lying. 
but you have to. You know, you kind of have to, because if you don't, then you'll be declared suppressive. So yeah. You have to go along with the program. I know. Look at the little ducky next to you. That's so cute. Yeah. So then, like, you were like, I'm getting out, and you planned your escape after that. I forget where we were on it. Uh, after the, uh, the apartment. Oh, the like apartment. The yeah. Yeah. Well, what happened then is I now it was them and me. Yeah. Right. I was like, I'm not part of that anymore at all. So now I'm like, OK, I got to go on the Internet and just I, I this is my feeling. If I I felt like the critics, because remember, they've been sending me out for two years to handle the critics. So I knew what they were like. Yeah. And they were wild. And I thought, OK. If I put myself in with these wild critics, it's sort of like being with the old cowboys of the Wild West, right? That's, yeah. how I th that's how I saw them. And I thought, maybe someone will help me. Maybe. That's all. That was it. You know, I thought maybe they will. And they did. It turned out, I, I just made all these goofy posts. I made 4,000 posts. Oh, there you go. I made 4,000 posts in two weeks. Wow. Everybody hated me because I they was just making stupid posts, right? Yeah. I just wanted to stay in the space. And finally, Andreas from Norway, who has the big xenu.net, xenu.net, yeah. that, that's his website. And he sent me a little message. And he said, because I only knew how to copy paste. So somebody would say something, I would copy it, write what I thought, paste it. And and in between, they had all these arrows saying, you said something, I said something, to differentiate who's talking. Yeah. And I thought, oh, who needs all these stupid arrows? So I'd erase them and then send it. Okay. And so Andreas wrote me and he goes, Magoo, nobody can understand what you're saying. You know, it's like you're not formatting. Yeah. And I didn't, I said, I don't even know what formatting is. Plus, Andreas was like the big SP on the planet for me. Okay. So it was like, Andreas? Yeah. From Xenu.net? I had seen his website once. I was like, no, no, this guy's evil. Yeah. But he taught me how to format. And my mom always taught me, if someone's nice to you, send them a thank you note. Okay. So I, there was a little teeny blue, you know, email thing on my computer. And nobody was there. And I kind of looked around in my house. Nobody was there. Nobody could see it. And I thought, well, I'm going to thank him. So okay. I just clicked on it and said, Dear Andreas, thank you for helping me, Magoo. Okay. And he wrote me back and he said, Dear Magoo, you're welcome. But he put his full name, his full address, his phone number, and his cell phone number. Oh, wow. I had been with these guys that were lying. Bill had even said, don't call me Bill on the phone. Call me Jack. And yeah. you're Katie. And I said, why? And he said, because these guys are evil and they're probably bugging your phone, which is probably what Scientology was doing. Yeah. But, you know, anyway... I was used to this phony IDs and all this other shit. And here's this evil guy on the planet with his full address, full name, full cell phone number, everything. Yeah. And it just freaked me out. And so I thought, well, maybe I can talk to him. So I said, why do you have a, all this evil stuff about my plant, about my religion? And he said, dear Magoo, I believe in truth. I believe in looking at both sides and I have the courage to say what I think. I don't think Scientologists are bad they're just misinformed i suggest you start reading mm -hmm. now this part of it i didn't know was happening but i always wanted to go back on the sea org so i clicked this thing it, ladies if you're thinking of joining the sea org read this and i clicked on it and it was all it was from mary tabioyan and it was all about enforced abortion wow and and it was just awful i mean it was just awful and, and I'm not anti-abortions. It was just someone being on in the Sea Org and then making her get an abortion. Yeah. It wasn't like she, her, her choice. They made her. They drove her over there, made her get the abortion, and then they made her go back on post. And I just couldn't stop crying. I cried for four hours. And then what am I going to do now? Who am I going to talk to? My friends? You know, I mean, what am I going to do? So yeah. I called on, I wrote, I texted Andreas, I emailed him, and I said, Andreas, I, I can't stop crying. I, I don't know what to do. If I leave, I'm going to lose every friend I have and and my husband of 27 years, and I don't know if my soul can take that. Yeah. 
and he said, Magu, I'm, I'm crying reading your email. And I'm so sorry you're having to go through this, but I've just got to ask you this one question. What kind of friends could those be if they're going to leave you because you changed your mind? Yeah. And that was it. That cracked open the tomb and Wow. And before that, he'd said, I believe in truth. I believe in looking at both sides and I had the courage to say what I think. That was yeah. the thing, you know, I think you should read. So that was it. And I was, that was it. I said, I got to get out of here. My, I got my dad to say, get out of LA. And I thought, I, I got to get out of here. And so yeah. soon after I went to LAX and I told you from LAX to Tampa, I became an activist. Yeah. Oh, and you said like they like met you at the airport. You can try to stop. I canceled my van yeah. and I called and said, where was my van? And they said, somebody anonymously called it and they canceled it. Wow. And every van in my area was canceled. Every taxi, every, everything. Wow. Which was probably them. Yeah. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to get out there one way or the other. So I did. And then um, I get to the airport and the plane is canceled. And my first thought was, can you both like cancel a plane? Anyway, whether it was an accident or not, I don't know. But the next thing I know, the vice president comes charging up to me and says, we know where you're going. You're not going there. And they had told me to bring a phone. And I said, they don't do stuff like that. And Stacy said, Tori, we used to run these programs. We know what we're talking about. Bring a cell phone. Yeah. And then we just had little flip phones back then. We didn't have like these big phones. So I got out my cell phone and I said, Stacy, the vice president is here. And she said, all right, I'm going to put you on with Jesse. And Jesse used to run the church. And anyway, the rest, I think I told you before. Yeah. 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 They finally were able to get on the plane. And yeah. Get out of there. Got on the plane and Osa was at Chicago with my husband. That was another nightmare. And then I finally got at 1.45 in the morning. I thought it'd be nothing because they only used to go till midnight. But they were there wow. with a big mob of OTs and Scientology and Osa and the police, three policemen and Stacy, Bob and Jesse. Yeah. And the police were like this. Stand back. You know, they did this big thing with their arms, you know, stand back. Yeah, and they said, just work with them, right? I don't know. Not know there. I don't know. They they were very kind to me. They said, she has to decide. And so I p- said, I picked them. Oh, nice. Yes, please. Okay. So that was it. Okay. That was it. Yeah. Hey, you guys, we just finished the story. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we, had a, we had a good little laugh there. Checked in on Zach. How's he doing? Oh, uh, give us a moment to jump the tantrum. That'll take a list. It will entertaining to say the least. How much? How much is it? Sixty eight dollars. Why are you laughing? Because you would have thought it was a billion. Oh, <laughs> he was that mad? Yeah. yeah. Well, it was creepy. I saw him doing it to him, and they and it was really creepy. They. About it is that he was parked wrong. He was parked yeah. on a spot he can't be. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, what are well, you going to contest it? What's your basis for he contesting it? He's going to gonna bring him to court and, and, and all this he points stuff. Points the camera at it. What do like, you mean well, he, it's hard to see? And what I, do you mean he's parked wrong? He, was, he, he couldn't park where he was parked. Like, no parking there unless you have a permit, 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. But he was saying he's going to take them to court and he's going to go find the guy. He's going to find him. Why? But I don't get it. How is he parked wrong if it says no parking? No parking. So, so that means oh, so he wasn't. He, I thought he, I thought you meant he was parked okay. No, no, no. No, no. He was parked wrong, and the sign said it. Yeah. So, okay. That's why I almost parked there, right at that place where the, I saw the guy coming down, and they had tagged the cars, and they, they were pulling off the tag. I don't know. They had. I just saw him pull something off of Zach's car. So I think they they probably go by with, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what he was doing, but it looked like he was doing something creepy and Zach was freaking out. So, an exciting night. Yeah. All right. Well, at least they didn't tow it, though. I mean, yeah, that's, that's a really good thing. I mean, towing is like 500 bucks to get it out of towing. Did they tow your car? Multiple, multiple. Really? How much did it cost? Uh, okay, so I think it's 368 I believe, is the cost for you to get it. They also, though, you get two tickets. The one for whatever you supposedly did, and then the ticket for whatever the toll place gives you. So it right. ends up being about 500 or something. Oh, it's more than that. Or at least it was for us. It was the, the ticket is, though, that you originally uh, 
So and also, if you have to wait till the next day, it goes up like fifty dollars. Oh. So it adds on. But yeah, I think about I pay like it, it varies, but about five. Yeah. It's expensive. It's way more than a ticket. I went into the I went to the police station with Will the one day, and uh, we go inside. He's yelling at the police. Whatever. I come outside. My car is gone. Really? Yeah. When you went to the police yeah. station? They it. Why? They said my registration was expired. It was expired by two days. Um, it took three hours to get it back. We had to go back to the police station. They were like, no, we went to the towing place. And they were like, no, you have to go to the police station to get your stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then we went to the police station. Went back like three or four times. My followers supposedly were calling and uh, saying not to release my car because I hit drugs. In it. Yeah, someone said you were on drugs. <laughs> Uh, that was the same night we got swatted, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was the same night we got swatted. After the yeah, party, that yeah. Night. That was a fun night. Was that the one over there? No, at, in the hills. Oh, you mean in the party? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Party, told you. The party. <laughs> well, the party that didn't exist. But, I mean, I was following you guys. You went to that first corny party. Yeah. That, that was a party. Was what fun. was it? Like it a get-together? Yeah. Like it was just a party. <laughs> no, I know it wasn't a party. But it but it was... It was Content creators, but they didn't look like they were creating much. No. Yeah, no, they were creating they alcohol don't. and all the stuff. Yeah, <laughs> they were just adding each other on Instagram, which is just why I love. Yeah, any of you? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, do any of you? Do I need to use you for anything? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> why is the bus coming down here? The hell are y'all doing? Slow down. You tell them. We didn't miss the show to write a ticket on there. <laughs> if you you notice, they only do like the same test. Like this, people don't go like they don't leave the actual building. What do they do? They just do the same exact thing. Like they don't actually go to a different location. Are you serious? Yeah. They're just driving and around. Right here, yeah. Come on. Yeah. We got you. Got to. You should get their license plate number. Yeah, cool. Check and see. Yeah. Because I don't think they so. even recognize the drivers now. It's like the old guy and the young guy. Like, right. Always the same. Yeah. Who's the? Uh... Why would they do that? Because they're in a cold, so <laughs> so they just have them doing the same thing. Wait, why is it a cold? Cold. Yeah. Why is it a cold? Yeah. They're doing the same thing. Twenty four seven. I don't think so. I can't, that's unbelievable. You want to hear a thing that happened to me in Clearwater? This is kind of a cool thing. Speaking of vans, I heard that this guy had this really cool museum with all the old artifacts from LRH's ship, right? But it was all underground. Like you had to, you had to say yes, I want to go, and they'll come pick you up. So they came and picked me up, and it was sort of like you know not okay with the Church of Scientology, right? right. But I was like, I don't give a shit. I want to see it. So I, I know. So I go there, and there's this old guy, and you had to walk across the gangplank that he had built into this warehouse, and the guy had fucking amazing stuff. I mean, he had the steering wheel of Hubbard's, the Apollo ship. And, you know, it isn't anything for you guys, but for Scientologists, I'm, I'm like, why don't they have it? Why doesn't yeah. the church have this? He said, they don't want it. I said, you're kidding. I mean, he had all kinds of stuff that was like original, original stuff. And he said, no, they don't want it. Why? That's like a Christian church not wanting Jesus to stand I know. Like, what? I know. It's like, how can that be? And they ended up declaring him suppressive and everything. It was what, like run? No, the the guy, oh, the old man. That? Yeah. It's like so creepy. It just really creeped me out. It was like one of the beginning waking up things for me. It's like something is very wrong in this group. What year was that? Around? I don't know. Oh, okay. It was in the nineties. Gotcha. Yeah, but, but you got to do a lot of things that these people don't get to do. Oh, right? Yeah. Like this yeah. you were these people are more in a routine than you were. Oh yeah. Because you were high up. So you can yeah. You yeah, know, and I and I was skulk, skulking around because they routed me out of the Sea Org, but I kind of had the Sea Org, you know, I'll do anything kind of thing. Yeah. So they, my whole thing with OSA, you want to know how it started? Richard, we moved from L.A. to Florida, and we're living there, and in Clearwater, they had Save Sparkling Clearwater stamp out Scientology, and it was this guy, Richard Tenney, who was the city commissioner trying to get to be mayor. And so now this guy, Milt Wolf, comes to me, he calls me in his office, and he goes, okay, you have to handle this. And this is hundreds of cars driving back and forth, honking and screaming and yelling how awful Scientology is. 
and, and I'm not exaggerating. I mean, it was, I'd never seen anything like it except. Right here sometimes. No, no, nothing like this. I'd never seen it in Germany. In Germany, that, that's what it reminded me of. It was like, holy shit. And so he goes, you have to handle it, Tori. And I go, me? You know, how could I? I just have a new baby. How am I going to handle it? So he goes, look, there's only four public here. And I'm going to tell you something. It's top secret, which Scientology, everything's always top secret, right? It's top secret. But L. Ron Hubbard was on the ship for years. And he was going to go on land in Georgia. But he got wind. This is the story that the FBI were going to plant ships or drugs on the ship. So they zoomed around and bought the Fort Harrison in Clearwater, lied and said they were the church of something else. And, and that's United been, Churches of Florida. Yeah, something like that. It's been documented. It's, yeah. it's, it was a lie. And so he said, so we are liars to them. And there, this guy's whole thing to become mayor was save sparkling Clearwater, stamp out Scientology. They're liars. Don't listen to them. So he said, so you go handle it, Tori. And I'm like, me? You know, with a brand new baby and everything. And so I go out. I think, all right, I'll, I'll give it a shot. So there's an older lady with an a, a American flag and a big sign against Scientology. And so I think, all right, I'll go up to her first. So I go, what are you doing? And she starts bitching about Scientology. And I, my son starts crying. And I said, look, the only product you have right here is look at my son. He's crying. That's it. This is bullshit. You should, you should put down your flags and go home. And she did. She put down her flags and she left. And so I just kept going person to person to person to person all around the town, started going to the meetings, you know, faced Richard Tenney, you know, just thing after thing. Richard Tenney is the guy. The city running commissioner for... running for mayor. OK. So it. anyway, I finally got him. I, I said, look, these people think we have long fangs. That's mm -hmm. it. They do. So we need to have a party because my mom was a big party animal. Mm -hmm. And she was like, if you have a problem, have a party, mm -hmm. you know, so. I said, we need to have a party and just have the people come and talk. I'm a doctor. I'm a mother. I'm a father. I'm a, you know, podiatrist, whatever, whatever you are, because they don't know that, you know, Scientologists to this day won't say I'm a Scientologist. They, they're, so they're around you, but you don't know they are. So they, they, they hear the bad PR and they don't ever meet good Scientologists. So I said, let's have a party. They won't talk about Scientology. Will just be nice people, hmm. and <laughs> what? Bell is dead. What happened? You said sex. I love it. Oh, it's been dead though. No, no. Yeah. yeah. So much in there. They're asking if you ever met Elroy. No, but my husband did. Oh, really? Hey, I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't like him. Yeah. <laughs> You were it's a big blabbermouth. Are you kidding me? No, I didn't. If you wanted to, you could have? No. You I would have had, I, so remember, I joined the Sea Org and they routed me out because I have epilepsy and I, I ran out of my medicine and they said, well, then, what, you know, you've got to get off your medicine and then you can come back to the Sea Org. And Hubbard was in the Sea, you know, he ran the Sea Org. So I couldn't, I started having massive grand mal seizures and my mother saved my life and said, that's it. You know, you're losing your short-term memory. You're going back on your medicine. Or I'm flying from Chicago to L.A. And believe me, Tori, L. Ron Hubbard and the Church of Scientology will never forget your mother. And that, I started taking my medicine. I went and saw Dr. Dank right down the street. They had the Shaw Health Center. And I went down there and I said, I got to take my medicine. I mean, who wants to have a seizure anyway? Yeah. Right? So it was not like now I had a reason, yeah. which was my mother. And I didn't care if they thought she was suppressive. It was like she wasn't suppressive. She said, Tori, epilepsy is not a psychosomatic illness. Because I kept saying, Dianetics will fix it. She said, no, it won't. It's, a, it's an illness. You need to take the medicine. So anyway, she saved my life. I forgot how I got onto that. What did you say? <laughs> I, no, no, I asked if I, you had my aura. My, my husband did when he was five. His parents got in in 1950. Oh, so, so he, right away, right? Yeah, 1950. Trip. His parents That's got it. Even called Scientology, right? Right, it was Dianetics, Dang. right? So they were really old timers, and so yeah, it was just Dianetics. It was just a book came out in 1950. It wasn't Scientology. There wasn't any. And when he changed it to Scientology, a bunch of Dianeticists left. 
Right. They said, fuck this. That we're was Mimi Rogers' parents. That yeah, did probably, that, right? yeah. Yeah. But a bunch of people did. They were like, no, no, we're yeah, not going to be a religion. Okay, so in 1950 was when Dianetics was written. And then in some time, I want to say like 1952, within a couple of years. Yeah, a he couple got a years. For making false medical claims. Because he said in Dianetics, like, Dianetics will give you perfect eyesight. It'll make you'll never get the common cold again. And so he got it. He lost. He went bankrupt. I'm pretty sure and lost the rights to Dianetics. Yeah. But then he created Scientology and called it a religion, which Dianetics had nothing to do with religion or past lives. Like he actually marketed it as this is like breaking mental health science. And he submitted it to the APA, the AMA, and uh, they laughed it off. Like this is pseudoscience, which is how he started and to that, hate psychiatry. And that's how he was against psychiatry. That's see, that right. was the real thing. But then he created Scientology and called it a religion. And then once he got some money, he was able to kind of get Dianetics back under the branch of like, oh well, it's okay that we made these claims because it's actually now the first book that's necessary for this religious study. And I mean, that's a that's the short version of the story, as right. I understand it, as a never end. No, no, yeah, marketing. Yeah, no, he he learned from his mistakes and he came back stronger. <laughs> and my ex-husband had they, he used to have these con congresses, right, where he'd be speaking. So my the parents brought the kid, and they were inside. And Harold just wanted to zip in and get a quarter from his mom to buy some food, like you, some snacks, right? That was all he wanted. So he zips inside. And Hubbard always locked the doors because he was taping. But Harold didn't know that. So he locks the doors. Now he's locked in. So his mom says, just sit here. And the whole thing's on fate and mind and body and all this shit. And he's just sitting there like, uh. And finally it ends. He comes outside and he goes, all of a sudden, this big burly guy with red hair is leaning over me. And he looks at me and he goes, are they giving you enough? Because he was really afraid that he was going to grill him on what was he talking about. And he said, I don't remember. And he said, instead, he leaned over and he goes, are they giving you enough popcorn and peanuts, young man? <laughs> and he said, that's my guy. You know, so he fell in love with him from that, honestly. It's the only time he, I think he met him. But the parents gave him a ton of money. They, tons. He has a whole folder that the parents left him with handwritten things from Ron saying, I'm sorry this didn't work. Thank you for the $10,000. Here's the next thing I'm coming up with. And, you know, I hope you can help me. And he's on tapes on different courses. LRH says hello to Wing and Smokey Angel and Flo and Paul Bazazian, which were his parents. Oh. And so Flo wrote him and said, why did you mention us with all these people? And he wrote back and said, because you kept Scientology alive in Chicago. Because oh. they did. They used to have people over... You know, it was really corny back then because nobody knew what they were doing, right? <laughs> so they read this Dianetics book, and they have a specific thing you're supposed to do, but nobody understood it. So Flo is outside. The husband is inside with the auditor. And he's he's she hears him going... They have a thing called repeater technique. Like, let's say you kept saying, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. So they say, okay, repeat. I can't do it. And you just keep repeating it. You know, don't ask me. So he wanted to run out dogs because he hated dogs. You're so the, the, oh, the camera. Part. What am I doing? <laughs> you're covering oh. the camera. Oh, thank you. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Did your chat tell you? No, I said. Oh, you just noticed. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So... He wanted to run out his upset with dogs. So he said, let's just do dogs. So the auditor is, he falls asleep on a couch, which is totally out tech. And the auditor is there going, dog, dog, dog. And Flo is outside the room and she realizes, that's not my husband's voice. And she opens the door and there he is sound asleep. And the auditor is going, dog, dog, dog. <laughs> So they were really crazy days. And then the other fun, funny one I'll tell you from Chicago, Harold was older, like a teenager, and they were they wanted him to get some auditing. So he goes in and the guy says, well, what aren't you telling me? And he goes, nothing. And he goes, well, there's something. You know, he's got him on the meter and he goes, there's something. What is it? And he goes, nothing, nothing. There's really nothing. And then he goes, you know what? I don't want to get this auditing anyway. And he gets up to go out. And this is what the, it's an emission, right? And the mission holder goes, Bizazian, where are you going? And he goes, I don't want to do this shit. And he goes, then get the fuck out of here. 
And he goes, I don't have to get out of here. And he goes, then get in session. And he goes, all right, I'll get in session. <laughs> <laughs> and he was smoking. That was the secret was he smoked. So he tells the auditor, okay, I smoke. And so the auditor lights up a cigarette and they smoke in session. <laughs> Because most Sea Org members do smoke, right? Well, so they, now, but they don't in session. Oh. No. <laughs> never. That's funny. Yeah. So that was really fun. So just funny old stories. Yeah. Classic, yeah. though, huh? Classic, indeed. And Flo was at Flag in a wheelchair, right. and I tried to get her interviewed by them because she's, you know, she was there in 1950. She knows the whole history of Scientology and everything. And they would not interview her. And I had to really think about it. And I thought, you know what? Dianetics says you can handle any illness, right? And here she is in a wheelchair. So that's why they wouldn't film her. That was another big wake-up call for me. It was like, wait a minute. What about just all the OTs who wear glasses? Was that ever was that ever something that stood out to you? As no. You're supposed to have perfect eyesight once you were No, because I had epilepsy. So I was already, you know, like mine's way worse than theirs. Gotcha. And glasses. <laughs> Uh, chat. <laughs> I know. What are you saying? I said what someone that hasn't seen the live before said, "What is this?" I said, "Oh, this is just a human trafficking cult that we're right in front of." <laughs> really? <laughs> They're <laughs> on your. Oh, that's right. Because you have a bunch of people that were that don't know about this. Yeah. Well, or just new people coming yeah, in. Yeah, there's a lot of people that don't know. Wow. Just I didn't know in. about this before I started. Yeah, we didn't know about. So, this. I sort of did. Like I knew, like that they were crazy people. But I didn't know like everything about it. I know you guys have moved along, man. It's but remember do you remember when we met met you on Elvon yeah. Hubbard Way? That was me and Drew. And I said, they're, they're these kids, we gotta go find them. Yeah. So we were driving around up by the testing center. You weren't there. CC, they're not yeah. there. So I said, let's go to the complex. Maybe they're there. And that's when we saw you, we were like, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> And I just remember, I knew who you were from that angel video that went all over. I the know. <laughs> what was that about? Someone posted a video of her in 2013. Yeah, yeah. talking to Angel. Oh, yeah. It went so viral on TikTok, but oh, yeah. not because you posted it. Other people kept reposting it. Like, who is this lady? I was yeah. Like, I want <laughs> to meet you. That's the OG. <laughs> I know. I was just talking. I mean, that's my thing is to just talk to them like they're people. You know what I mean? Like, no, that's why Odo and I are friends. Like they're not a person. <laughs> huh? I said, and Will's the opposite. Talk to them like they're not a person. I I was in. I know how that feels. When they'd send me out and people talk to me like I wasn't a person, it, it doesn't it doesn't shake but, things. But see, the thing is, they talk to us like we're not people. Yeah. They like talk to us like we're like space aliens. Like criminals, too. Yeah, yeah. criminals. Uh, criminals so low, it's true. Lower. It's true. They they've really gotten worse. You're right. So maybe maybe it is better. Wait, you were talking to Angel in that video. He was like a normal. Yeah. Like he was set, like he like smiled. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah, it's like Odo. Never. Oh, yeah, it's true. Two cats. Yeah. You got that girl, don't you think? When you went into the testing center, I think no. she kind of smiled. No. <laughs> Uh, when I brought the fake Kanye West and she thought it was real Kanye, maybe, but she wasn't smiling on me. That was so... Yeah, 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 he was right here. It actually was. He's right here. I did say no before I saw the video. But then I saw his girlfriend, wife, and then I saw it. Yeah, then after I saw the the girl, whoever his girlfriend is or wife or whatever, then I was like, then I went to look up the video and I was like, oh, that actually was. When was that? It wasn't at the... You wasn't at the building? Yeah, right here. here for like to take pop rocks. No, when? Right here. When was that? Probably like a week. Yeah, yeah, Patrick Skinner yeah. said you're correct about him losing. What was that? Oh, sorry, what was that? Yeah, all oh, right, now it went away. Patrick Skinner said he's correct about Hubbard losing Dianetics just two years after he he and partners started yeah, Dianetics. Yeah, and like, then it was within a couple of years of that yeah, that he founded Scientology and then Church of the Scientology. Church of Scientology, yeah. Well, after what? After just knowing I was disappointed at how well Top Gun 2 <laughs> did in theaters. I remember when that was coming out, I was like, oh, I hope this doesn't perform well, but it was really good. It yeah. broke records. Nah, it's not good always, but I'm not watching. <laughs> At least not in the theater. Yeah. I'll wait for... I... Anybody have a second phone? Because they're all saying, watch the away stream. Zach's going off. But my phone died. Second what phone happened over there? <laughs> what happens? Zach's freaking out about the ticket on the away stream. 
Anybody have a second phone? I don't. I do. Uh, Cam does. It's it's it's, it's going off about what? It's like freaking out about the ticket still. Uh, oh. He's saying that he's going to contest it. That he's going to go after that. Go to court. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys trying to go to La Belle too? I'm not. Nope. You are? I would, but I'm already here late. So. You know, I just, just go with flow, like a shrimp. Okay. I get you. I've never seen you at La Belle. Have you been there? What do you mean? I'm... Yeah. She's there more than anyone. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm there. I don't watch it that much. I just pop in and see it and go, okay. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I, no, I know. It's not my thing. But like I said, you got to find your thing. You know, everybody's got their thing. First, this thing just happens to be playing with sock puppets. <laughs> I love those sock puppets. Those have gotten popular. You need one. Huh? You need one. Ah. Oh, yeah. Tori. You're, you're lucky I can't do your boys. Or <laughs> Pardon me? I said, you're lucky I can't do your boys or else. Oh, come on. You can do my voice. We have similar voices. Actually, I might be able to. Yeah, I think you can. <laughs> I'm a goo. <laughs> I'm a goo. GOP, we don't need to Turn up the light. Turn it up. Oh, we put Zach or he's just playing music. Do we need to back it up? going off. Who's oh playing the muffin? What is that? <laughs> what is he doing? He's actually he's playing the muffin man while Zach is shocked. No way. And do you know he's playing the muffin man over here? Bro, what the hell? You hope he might, might, might be the real next thing. I don't get it. Um, so we're Zach won't stop talking, so DOA. He's talking in front of DOA, and DOA started playing the muffin man. Oh, he went over to La Poubelle? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still mad about the tickets. <laughs> too goofy. Goofy. If you treat it, your Zach, what is it that? Oh, no, with no, humanity, I like hypocrisy, yeah, and nastiness more. That's correct. I agree. Might show up if you search Zachary Obama, also. Yeah. Obama? <laughs> he was Barack Obama's $1 million uh, campaign donator oh. in um, 2008 when he first wow. ran. Wow. Uh, so he was like on the campaign website for a little bit. And now that's like, he hangs on to that by calling himself oh, no. Zachary Obama. <laughs> well, I was in Hillary Clinton's class council. I'm not a Republican, but yeah, I was. You Hillary Clinton's class council? Yeah, we were in a separate, cool. we were in class and then we had our own class council. It was, like it was Hillary Rodham, yeah. Main town. Yeah. Did, were you friends with her? No. Okay. She's very much like she was now then. You know, okay. she was very focused, and I'm very party animal. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. That's really interesting. I did not know that about yeah. you. Wow. Yeah, when that, when the whole campaign was going, I posted the photograph of our high school, you know, all the kids and Hillary Rodham and me and I was the treasurer, which God knows why they would make me the treasurer. But anyway, yeah. On your Facebook? Somewhere, like, I, to that Probably one. somewhere a million photographs down. I don't yeah. know where. You know, it, it is. That's I, I periodically repost it. Because <laughs> <laughs> why? Zachary says, I hate you been wasting my time. I'm going to waste his time. <laughs> Pick up my being in the street. <laughs> He said, oh, just in the background. I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> that was me, but we were over there. This is three hours out there. <laughs> Can we please just go walk down? Uh, yeah. Watch. Yeah. I said I was not going to go to La Poo now, but this is too good. <laughs> this is too You're going to go? I, yeah. Jo I, I need to see Zach Lance about this. It's hilarious. I'm not going to like, La Poo now for that. I just, I, I need to see this. Right. <laughs> right. It's too funny. It's All right. too funny. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll. Out of here. You'll be here for a little bit. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna feel my puppets. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Your puppets? Where are they? Oh, I'm not in going. my car. Oh, no, but I'm not gonna show it. Yeah, I know about. He's not gonna show them. 
and no, and you know, gotta be a group unless like. That's it, I'm gonna force come. We need to move your bar. You I don't have strong. Feelings. Yeah, I'm just going, I'm literally just going. Yeah, I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Hey, somebody just said I'm a forest gum. That's not a compliment. <laughs> we said. So, Damn, Tori, you're a Forrest Gump. We need to, a movie about you. No pipe and blow by the time you don't get there. Oh, I get it. Because DeForest Gump like has met all the famous people in oh. the movie. Like oh. in the movie, there's constant references. Yeah. He went with high school with Hillary. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Different thing. Yeah. My Bailey correct without knowing it. they were loaded. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna sign off you guys. Because these guys are abandoning me. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But anyway, thank you. At least 30 minutes here. Oh, okay. You got a film here? Okay. But I don't want to show them on anything. Oh, okay. So you want some privacy? Yeah, so he did eat special muffins. Not because he, he didn't know they were they were filled with something, but he was stoned out of his mind. That's from the muffins. Yeah. I did it. We did a video. It's really hysterical. I mean, his yeah. eyes are like little slits. I mean, yeah. he, he was so stoned. When was this? Um, the day after Easter. Okay. He woke up and he was really hungry and somebody had left him these muffins. Yeah. And he just ate them. And DOA. The <laughs> wow. Fine, eh? I didn't realize that happened. Yeah. I All right, so I'm going to sign off here. So good night, you guys. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Oh, yeah. The eggs. Okay, then I'll show you the pictures of DOA.